Welcome in, y'all. It's a real late night, and I'm just... I'm just chilling, really. I'm just taking it easy. I figured I would get on stream and play uh, this Crimson Dragon game that I've been playing recently on Xbox. Um, I am eternally impressed with how... Like, if you just have an Xbox One you can access so many games. Like, you don't even need a new one. Like, just with Xbox One, you can play brand new games and games all the way back to old school Xbox. And I haven't really picked up my Xbox in a while. Like, it's kind of been just sitting and chilling. And so I figured I would. And I put a bunch of games on here. Um, and there's, like, all these cheap deals right now. And this game was like four bucks or something. I think it still is, actually, but if you've ever been, uh, if you ever remember playing Panzer Dragoon on Sega Saturn, uh, this game is like the same team, the same director. It's like a spiritual successor. And it's pretty fucking cool. Who's that? Tattered trademark, Tattered TM. Thank you for that follow. Welcome in. Uh, we are training our dragoons. We are riding the dragoons. Um, I'm actually going to find a link for this. Is it still on sale? No, this game is 15 bucks right now. But it was just on sale. Like, last week. For literally like $3. $4. Um, so, I was like... I have to check this out. I'm a big fan of anything Sega Saturn. And for that matter, anything... Panzer Dragoon, uh, or by Yukio Futatsaki, uh, really amazing director, all the Panzer Dragoon games, and Phantom Dust, which is, honestly, I played it about a year ago, this time last year, and Phantom Dust is, like, possibly one of the best games I think I've ever played, like, top 50. At, at the least, at the very least, top 50, which says a lot, because I've played a lot of games. Um, and there are a lot of great games out there, but there is nothing quite like Phantom Dust. Um, so anyway, I've already put a little bit of time into this, but we're basically going for like A grades, S grades, and trying to get medals in all the levels so that we can progress. Um, and you can go back through multiple levels, you know, many times, and you can buy new dragons and all this other stuff. So let's get into it without further ado. I hope everybody's doing all right tonight. I hope you're staying safe out there. I hope you are not getting sick and not getting other people sick. Um, I hope you're managing to stay sane. I hope you had good holidays. I'm, like, back in the swing of things at work, and it's going all right. And, uh, you know, we're safe and warm and all that and so many video games to play, right? Tomorrow night, I'm gonna also stream, and I believe I will be playing uh, the Zelda 2 Remake. If you have not seen the Adventure of Link remaster, it is amazing, and get it now before Nintendo takes it down. <laughs> so uh, uh, we'll, we'll talk about that tomorrow more though, but um, yeah, let's get into it. So, this game is definitely not easy, but it is it is easier than Panzer Dragoon, than any of them. Uh, modern Stamp. Modern is Tamf? Modern is Tam PH1. You gotta tell me how to say that. Thank you for that follow. Thank you, thank you. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be a real chill stream. Like, it's three in the morning. I've got some tea. We're getting high as birds. Uh, yeah. So I have, I think I have four dragons now. We have several. We have Silvertail Photon, Dark Shoulder Breeze, Bloodskin Smolder, and Black Bone Photon. 
Um, they each have different elements. You can get them to a max level, but the highest one I have is this one, which is level 9. Uh, but some of them have better stats, like the Silver Tail Photon, because I evolved. I evolved them. So even though they're level 7, their agility and their mind is way up because they're like an evolved second level dragon. Um, you can upgrade your weapons and stuff. It's like super cool. I've really been enjoying this. So I don't think I've tried Blackbone Photon yet, but I really kind of want to get this one to like level 10 because it's almost there. Um, so we're going to feed the dragon. And I think, I mean, this isn't really going to matter. We can see how much it'll matter. Yeah, almost. So... Yeah, there we go. So, uh, I think these two, I already have taught my dragons the ones that need to know those like this one is wind and this one is light and i think they already know those wait a second wait a second roar breeze and photon vision right roar breeze photon vision um so yeah the skill Roar, Breeze, Photon Vision. So, this one needs Photon Vision, basically. Yeah. And then, Cannon Smolder we already have for our Fire Dragon, so we don't really need to do that. Um, yeah, and there's like so many dragons like I haven't even unlocked like half of them so I'm kind of like there's so much more to do in this and that's why I was like I'm just gonna play it offline a little bit like this is not a game that I will play completely off like on stream because there's like there's you know you could you have to grind a little bit you know but it's a good grind it's a good grind so uh we I mean we can try this one because we haven't really fucked with them at all but, yeah, max, max level is 10, which is what we want to get everyone to, basically. So I should probably do this one and just get them to 10. So Vision Photon is actually worse stats than the Ray Photon. So I think I'm just going to use the Ray Photon. Uh, and you can tell what they're going to do. If you press X, it'll say, like... You know, it'll describe it to you, which is nice because sometimes, like, stats don't always, like, translate to my brain. It's nice to have them actually just tell you. Um, that's also, like, kind of a cool accessibility feature if you think about it because not everybody can sort of read the stats. Like, how would you read that out loud to someone necessarily? I don't know. But, um,. So this game, you choose your dragon, you upgrade your dragons, you evolve your dragons, and... Yeah, level 8. And we're just going to get them as far as we can there. But, like, you also hire wingmen, and your wingman can be other people on your friends list, like an AI of people on your friends list. Like Boozing Redneck and Scion Phoenix. These are like, you know, you can you could hire these people essentially for money. Like this one who has crazy stats. Yeah, we're gonna hire this one. And then you go into a level and it really helps you out getting an S. Like you can just focus on getting the medals and getting S rings and your co-pilot, your wingman, can kind of, like, focus on the enemies. Like, you have to shoot, but, like, it really helps out, you know? So, we can also evolve this one to a silver tail spark, which I'm, like, kind of all for, because we have this stuff for it. But that golden Tosca seed, I think that's, like, those are really rare. 
So part of me is like, this is a level, or no, this is a level eight light based dragon. And I think, like, let me check this one again. Yeah, okay, we need the Vespin Seed for this one. Okay, so we should evolve the other one. Why not? Let's do it. Level 8. Evolve. Oh, yeah, 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 at 10. At level 10. Okay, okay, so soon. I forget, I forget. Um, okay, so we have the Wingman. We have the missions. Um... We have totally not all the medals for this at all. So I think I should just do it again. Our radar's picked up an anomaly just beneath the Score 90,000 points and collect Looks all the like beacons. It's ruling. so hard to our get the beacons. Think it might predate our... It's so hard. It's so hard. Yeah, we'll just do the first one. Uh, let me... Oh, no, no, no. So you can select an ampule, which is kind of like a like a temporary boost for that level, and then it goes away. We're gonna take... Oh, Mad Dog's actually better. Max level. Yeah, let's keep Mad Dog, I guess. All right, let's do it. There's a fair amount of setup, but once you're in this, it's like, it's like, it's cool because you don't have to do this like one 50 minute level or something like the old Panzer Dragoon games. Instead, you just do these chunks of like, you know, here's this area and here's five small missions from there. Sometimes it'll just be a boss. Sometimes it'll be like a level and a boss or several, you know, bosses or whatever. But it's never like too much. It doesn't last too long. Damn it, rookie, wake up. Now let me make sure this isn't... I don't think it's going to be too loud, but... See. The Xbox is, like, quiet. In comparison to the PlayStation. Don't let your guard down. Our sensors are picking up a strange anomaly in the area. Keep a close eye on your surroundings as you fly. Watch out! Looks like we're surrounded. They're gonna come back around, though. You don't run out of this weapon, but you do run out of your other weapon. Which is just like, I think, a standard homing attack. But the difference between this and Panzer Dragoon is that it's more like Star Fox, where you can move around quite a bit and do a barrel roll, you know? It's a thing. And if you if you get it's kind of like old school Gradius or like Darius, like if you if you if you clear each section of enemies, like just each little cluster of enemies, if you make sure to zap all of them, you get like bonus credits just for doing that. So the amount of money and stuff you can collect from each level run, even if you're not actually getting medals or getting better ranks than you already have, just the amount of loot you're getting is like totally worth it, you know? Yeah, so here's my, my wingman who I'm going to bring out to make sure that the boss takes damage while I'm, like, you know, busy trying to fucking survive. <laughs> and you can also do, like, a super move. But they can still hurt you during that. But you're also doing a ton of damage, so it's all good. Fuck. I'm being careless. Yeah, 
Yeah, S rank, let's go. Oh yeah, this fucking thing. Those things, when it's time to collect those, it's really hard. It's really tough. No big deal. No big deal because, one, I have a good wingman, and two, you know, it's the first level, literally. I've played this enough times. But the hard part is getting all this shit. Because, like, the kid... <laughs> they change, like... Yeah, they change where you think they're gonna be. Getting them all on this stage is tough because it's like distracting. Like, I'm trying to kill shit. I can't also pay attention to collecting stuff with screen shake, you know? Okay, that was a B. Not bad. I don't think you actually see your score till the end, though. So then, I mean, we might be able to just kill it with our wingman. But we're, like, so powerful that, yeah. Like, I don't even think we need to use a super. But I'm going to do it anyway just for dramatic effect. It's not over though. It's never over, that's the thing. It's like boss on top of boss. Oh no. <laughs> but yeah, that's like, I think, the next one. Finally got over 90,000. But the beacons, the beacons is tough. The beacons is tough. And then it like immediately ranks you against all your friends too, which is super cool. Yeah, you don't get really much for that mission, but I, I need to get the medals. So like that was good. That was worth it. I can't believe I missed this game when it came out. It was like 10 years ago. Um, yeah, we're level eight. And I'm just like, let's just get us there. Let's go. And then we can evolve. Photon Vision, Cannon Smolder, Roar Breeze. Vision Photon? Is that different from Photon Vision? 
Yeah, 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 that was the same. Okay. Um, so we can't do this one until we do the bloated anomaly, and I don't know how to unlock it. Like, it, there's nothing that seems to... Right, we don't have enough antibodies yet. I guess we need one more, like that red one. Yeah, 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 yeah. So... We do have a bunch that we can do, though. This one is also dependent on that. These only have bees. I got all, all the metals. Let me see. Oh, it doesn't tell you what the metals are until you're in it. So we'll just do this one. Um... Yeah, I mean, I barely even use this one. Because the lightning move is just too good. Um, so your wingman only lasts for like three levels and then you have to choose a new one. Which may or may not be as good. Depending on how far they got. Like how much they've raised their dragons, basically. Oh, inside the cave is so hard. Wait, so what are the metals again? I just missed it, or they only showed at the end, I think. Yeah. I'm just gonna try my best. Shit. Yeah, like, if you're ready with the lightning, or ready with your shots in general, you will get all kinds of money in this game. I should have just done my, my super for that. That was a D. That was a D. Fuck. I missed that one. I missed that one. That was not excellent, but it was all right. All right, I got that medal. But take no damage is not is never going to happen. I'll tell you that right now. Take no damage would be so so difficult on that stage specifically.
Level 9, let's go. So I don't know what the max level is for, for the dragons, though. Like, I guess it's 20, but maybe you evolve it again? I don't know. So... Yeah, let's just get you there. You can also change its attribute like over to something else and I think that's pretty cool. But I, I, I guess I just want to make one, I just want to keep them what their element is and focus on that. Unless later I absolutely need to move one around because they have a specific move or something. That sort of thing. I don't know what player level does. Like I get dragon level, but I'm not really sure what player level does. But cool. Oh, this one finally opened. No shit. This one's gonna be insane. Let's do it. Reports of an anomalous dragon are coming in, and our researchers back at the capital are very interested. Go and investigate, and if possible, obtain a tissue sample. S rank and thirty thousand or more. We can do that. Yeah. We need defense in life. All of this guy's games have like really unique menus and interfaces that don't look like any other game. And I really think that's cool. Oh my god, this is gonna be epic! It's gonna be fucking epic! just fucking super this right here. The only thing we know about this dragon is that it's enormous. Everything else, its weaknesses, its strengths, are totally unknown. Observe its movements carefully while you engage, or the fight will be over before you know it. Yeah, I mean, we can just sit here and just annihilate this thing. Don't take your eyes off its tail. More than a few riders have already I'm just gonna, if I can get no damage, I'm gonna be very surprised. S rank on that. Let's go. But it's not over. It's free flight zone, so like it's literally Star Fox. It's like Star Fox multiplayer. You've got to slow this thing down. Target any opening you can find and fire at will. Oh my god. Yeah, I need to like turn all the way around it. There we go. There goes the no damage. Yeah, you can't, I mean, you can kind of spam your super, but you only have a limited supply. And that's good, because otherwise this game would be like over.
Oh, I have to find the last one. Shit. <laughs> okay, there we go. Record that as a clip randomly. So I suppose if you the wanted it to be like, of Amara. oh, everyone on Draco has heard the stories, but no one has ever claimed to see it. Still, there's always a kernel of truth at the heart of every legend. What could have happened there? What strange experiments did our ancestors conduct? Since the White Phantom reappeared, I've begun to realize how little we actually know about this planet. How little we know about our own history. Any search for truth comes with a price. Whoa! Guapo, Grams. Guapo, indeed. Gracias, thank you. That's fantastic of you. How is Super Mario Brothers Wonder? I've played a bunch of it and I, I love it so far. There's also a really cool, um, if you have PlayStation, there's a really cool game called Dreams and inside Dreams, people have made Super Mario Brothers Luma and it's also really good. It's not quite as tight. I mean, you can definitely tell that it's a game made in Dreams but not the whole time. Sometimes you forget. So if you're looking for an expansion, um, I hope your stream was good. Please feel free to do your post-raid stuff. Welcome in, y'all. Uh, tonight I am playing uh, Crimson Dragon because I'm up late. I like crashed after work and I woke up late and I was like, I just want to chill with something that feels familiar. And this game definitely feels like old school fifth gen memories, uh, which is never a bad thing. That's always like, I, I can count on the fifth and sixth gen of gaming to always give me like good feels and good memories and stuff, you know? Um, I, can, I can say that confidently. You've heard of Super Mario Brothers Luma, is what you're talking about? Rinks, hello. Happy New Year to you, too. Thank you. I appreciate you. Uh, so we're playing Crimson ja Dragon, and if you've, or, and if you've never, like, played or seen Panzer Dragoon, this is basically, like, part three. Like, it's like... It's like if Panzer Dragoon had an Xbox One game, basically. Some of the stories say it was built in the ruins of an ancient civilization that existed on Draco before we arrived. Yeah, yeah, Guapo Inside Dreams on PlayStation. It's on PlayStation 4 and 5. Dream Dreams is fucking amazing. I, I haven't put enough time into Dreams on stream to, like, show everybody all this stuff on there, but, like... It's like a $15 game or something, and in it are, is like thousands of games people have made, and you can take assets from all the games made and move them around and like make use them for your own purposes and make your own games. Um, it's really fucking cool. There's a great one in there called Trips Voyage that I think I want to stream as well. Yeah, Panzer Dragoon is only on Saturn, Xbox... Xbox One, and now Switch, because Panzer Dragoon Remake is on Switch. When Crimson Scale hit, that's um, this isn't related to Panzer Dragoon, but it's like, you know, it's the, the same kind of game. 
It's about dragons. You're flying in third person. You shoot amazing things. Everything is beautiful and epic and incredible, and the music and the menus are really awesome. Uh, plus, this one we get to like actually like feed and evolve our dragons, and there's so many dragons to choose from, and I only have like four. I haven't even gotten all of them yet. Um, yeah, let me actually get into it here. We just defeated like a massive boss right before you came in. I don't know how much you saw. So we have a few dragons. We have Silver, Sil Silver Tail Photon, Dark Shoulder Breeze, Bloodskin Smolder, and Blackbone Photon. And we're trying to get them all to level 10 so that we can then evolve him. And this one is almost there. So, like, if I feed the dragon, you can, like, teach them new uh, abilities. Uh, and then you can hire wingmen. And the wingmen can be people from your friends list on Xbox. And each of them have different stats. So, if you have, like, a really good one... You know, like, MI-72 right here, we definitely want to add them because then we can take them into battle with us. Like, even when the other person is not online, it just makes, like, an AI based on the stats of your friends on Xbox with the dragons that they've raised. And then you can go into levels, and it's easier to do it if you have, like, a high-level wingman to go with, you know. Um, so we want to evolve this dragon to Silvertail Spark, but not yet. Not yet. So, I just got two new missions. We have the Draco Connection, and we have Lockdown. Uh, yeah. Yeah, let's do this one. Hello, feline. Yeah, uh, are you playing Super Mario Brothers Wonder with someone? Because, like, me and my partner Lucas have been playing it together, and it's fun. We got it going on, like, Parsec, so, like, I can be up here, and he can be down there, and we can play together. Like, but anyway. <laughs> it's been it's been really cool. 90% um, or better complete a mission without a... Oh, oh, without a wingman. You know what? Okay. Okay, let's let's not do a wingman then. Cuz they'll stay in there. I mean, like each wingman you can only use like 3 times, but they'll stay in there when you don't use them. Um defense and life. Yeah, let's go. Never gets picked like back in the high school dodgeball. <laughs> I mean, I want to get them all to level 10 so I can evolve them and then get them to 20, I guess. And I don't know how far it goes. We're just we're just getting into this, really. I've played like three hours off stream or something, but it's like a pretty big game. It's kind of like Star Fox. That's the best, like, it's like if Sega had Star Fox, that would be Panzer Dragoon, basically. Yeah, this game was like three bucks last week on Xbox, but now it's back up to normal, which is 15. So it's not bad. And then for each little section, there's like a challenge, like wipe out the enemies or don't get hit or make sure you kill all these or whatever. And if you do it, you get extra money and points and then you evolve your dragons and all that, you know? It's also really hard not to take damage until you know the level well enough and you know what the enemies are gonna do. Yeah, it's incredible. Like, if you if you ever liked Panzer Dragoon, this game has 1,000% 1, 1, better graphics. <laughs> like, like uh, don't get me wrong, those games are beautiful. And the remake was good, uh, the one on Switch, and um, Panzer Dragoon Orta on original Xbox is really good, but this one is absolutely gorgeous. And I love that, like, you can play online, like, there is multiplayer, but you can also just do the thing where you hire the wingman. So like, it's 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 multiplayer, but it's also asynchronous multiplayer. Like you don't need someone to actually be online 
for you to hire them as a wingman and use their AI to help you in battle. You know, like, that's pretty fucking sweet. Because that means this game can live on and on and on, even if no one's online to play. Shroom, what's going on? Uh, is this cross-play? Uh, no, it is only an Xbox thing. Maybe, I mean, maybe it's on PC too? But I think it's Xbox One only because it was originally supposed to be a Kinect game. And then they just had controller support too. So, like, you don't need to connect to play it. Um, so I was like, oh, okay, fine, I'll get this. Like, if, if this was strictly a Kinect game, I probably wouldn't have got it. Like, maybe I would have tried it. But because they don't force that on you, you know, that's, that's how to do peripherals. Also, Shroom, what's going on? You were asynchronous once? <laughs> I, I am often asynchronous. Oh, shit, it's boss time. Thank you. Thank you for that, Shroom. Uh, y'all, y'all, I'm gonna pause this just to give Shroom a shout-out. Shroom, Shroom, you're a bigger streamer than I am, but you do deserve love. You're, you're a total sweetheart, and you have good streams. Yeah! And you always make me laugh. Um, also, Shroom is playing that Zelda 2 remake, the remaster that, if you haven't seen on PC, is fucking incredible. And I think I'm gonna play it tomorrow night, so I'll be on stream for that. Um, yeah, yeah, Guapo, the one on, the one on Switch, the Panzer Dragoon is like a, rem a remaster of the first game. So it's just like, if you want to like get an introduction into Panzer Dragoon, the Switch one is fine. But it's not like an online game, you know? This one is like its own thing on Xbox One. Or, a or any Xbox, I guess. Any Xbox since one. I don't know, I only know like two people who have an Xbox Series X. Like, most people either have a PS5 or they just don't have a system from this gen. So sometimes there's areas like this where you go around in 3D space. You know, like the Star Fox 64, like, arena levels. I can't believe we have to do this without a wingman. This is fucking insane. Okay, I need to get away. Yeah, there we go. I guess they all count as one thing, though, as far as damage. So, that's cool. <laughs> I wonder if my other gun will do better? No, actually, I think this is better. Yeah, the electricity is just too good because it's like... You constantly have a little bit of attack going at all times. And you don't have to pay attention to where you're aiming. Not really. I just don't want to get hit. But the only thing is, when you don't have a wingman, that means you don't have a super either. So, like, they're not only are they not there to help, you can't do your super move. Because the super move is with your wingman. Oh shit. Oh shit. So if we use a regenerator, we can come back to life right now and get items. But if you don't, like you can just die or you can like come back to life, which, you know, we have enough of them. But if you use too many of those early in the game, then it becomes much harder later, you know? But I guess you can always earn more of them, so, like, I don't know. It's cool. Yeah, Guapo, please, uh, please enjoy your night. Please do your post-raid stream stuffs. Enjoy your night. Get some, get some water, get some rest. Uh, I think I'm gonna love that Zelda 2 remake, and have a good night, Shroom. Yeah, tomorrow, I think I'm gonna start that. Cause this is a game that's gonna kinda like go on for a while, like you grind and there's lots of levels and lots of dragons. Um, I am gonna come back to life, let's go. We might as well try to finish this, this boss. Like, there's no point in turning back now. And I'm not gonna do it with a wingman because that's one of the challenges is not to, so let's just fucking do it. We're trying to get medals right now and we're trying to get S ranks on every level. 
which is really tough. All right, we're chipping away, we're chipping away. But there's only 30 seconds left, I think. And if you if you don't get the boss in the time, you you like fail it, I think. Or you just get like a D or an F, you know. So what this means is we need to come back with a stronger dragon, but it's not like we're very far off. Like it's not like we're super far away from killing them. So I think we'll probably, once we evolve this dragon, yeah, see? There shouldn't be a timer, but that is kind of like the arcade of this, you know? Still got an A though, and two medals. So we only need to come back with a stronger dragon and then make sure we get a better kill rate with a wingman. Actually, with a wingman, we would have, like, I think I would have beaten that. Chain race spark. And then we can evolve this dragon now. Hi, kitty. Go on. <laughs> go on, go on. Y'all want to see the kitty? Hi. Hi, sweetie. <laughs> Thanks a million. Oh. No way I could have made that run myself. Well, I can't. Y'all, the raids are so lovely. I appreciate y'all. I was just like, I'm going to randomly stream. Why not? You know, let's let's hang out and play this game I want to play. Remember your first mission? Well, as it turns out, you weren't the only survivor. A dragon rider from I feel like this developer, which is grounding, which is like Yukio Futatsaki's, uh, like company that he made himself after working for Sega and doing Panzer Dragoon. Um, all of his games are good. It's like he's one of those he's one of those guys that like he really doesn't miss, but but five of his games are about dragons and then one of them is phantom dust which is an amazing game but not about dragons so it's like he doesn't miss but you know his library is pretty small and niche <laughs> he's got a thing for dragons he's got that bad dragon dildo <laughs> So they basically did genetic experiments on people and turned them into these fucking dragons and then used them as, like, not only sort of cattle, but as weapons of war. It's really shitty. He's so real for that? Yeah, for real. He has, like, six games, I believe. Well, no, there's more that they've worked on, but, like, the main games that stand out are Panzer Dragon 1, 2, Orta, uh... Uh, Panzer Drag Dragoon Saga, the the RPG, and then Phantom Dust, and then this. So six games, and they're all banners. <laughs> like they're all good, but you kind of have to be into like, like Phantom Dust is f a fucking masterpiece on its own, and that's a whole separate story. I played it like a year ago on stream, um, but it's still going on online. Like people are still playing it online, and it's like I think anyone could possibly get into Phantom Dust. But for the Dragoon games, you kind of have to, like, be into rail shooters. So if you don't like Star Fox, you're not going to like Crimson Dragon or Panzer Dragoon. Yeah, Orta is, Orta is so fun and so hard. Orta is so fucking brutal. My god. It's like a 30 to 45 minute level. And if you die during any of that, you have to start it over. It's fucking insane. Uh, Rob Zombie has a whole song about that. And dead at the same time. Of course, Seeker Command is doing everything it can to keep this info from leaking. Both the Dragon Rider and Official have disappeared without a trace. 
and no one's heard a thing from either of them. Now, I'm not one to believe every tale I hear. My years as a traitor have taught me to separate facts from fiction just fine. And this has the stay sharp out there, kid. You know, it's funny, the lore is almost unnecessary in a game that is like this. But I totally appreciate the effort. valuable than any currency. More so I've come to learn. Stories, theories, and rumors abound, while the truth remains obscure. But whose truth holds the real value? Could Cadmus be right? Or has his time in the unforgiving wilds of Draco warped his mind? Sana's secret mission seems to beat out Cadmus's truth. But could she have been referring to the lost colony of Amara? Or the ruins of Draco's long-dead civilization? Could they be one and the same? As far as I know, the efforts of Icarus Division have paid off. Numerous recon teams have been dispatched to the ruins for further investigation. Not one of them has filed a report, or sent so much as a status update. According to the other Dragon Riders, the situation is the same at other camps. There's clearly something going on. Something Command isn't telling us. I can feel it. I should do Phantom Dust on stream again. That game is so much fun, and there's like a whole Discord of people playing online. Okay, we're at max level, which means we can evolve this dragon to Silvertail's Spark. Look at that shit. Let's go. Let's go. Alright, so... They're a light type still. And we have Chain Ray Spark, which is the new one, which I think we're going to use. Oh, yeah, let's go to the forest. Corrupted Skies. We got all these metals. Yep. There's, like, a fuck ton of voiceover in this game, too. Which, I mean, it's weird. They have, like, cutscenes and a bunch of text. But all of it is voiced, and I'm like, hey, like, the quality, I respect the quality. Get the item Ultimate Seed, oh baby. Defeat every Orcanus, uh, be your better. Let's go. Oh no, wait, let's do a wingman for sure. Yeah, I mean, essentially this game is a souped-up version of Panzer Dragoon, but I do think this is probably the most approachable Dragoon game, hands down, because each level isn't like a 45-minute affair, where if you die, you go back to the beginning. It's, it's like each level is like these short bursts, you know, maybe, you know, three minutes, five minutes, ten minutes, maybe... Hitman blood money? Yeah. I don't think I've played that one. But Hitman has a lot of nice details like that, too. And I appreciate that. Like, I don't necessarily need a movie for every piece of lore, but if you go to the trouble of doing voice acting for every bit of text, I'm kind of like, that's impressive. That takes, you know, somebody got paid for that. They didn't have to do that. They, I could have just read it, you know, but they decided to do that anyway, and that's a nice touch. These things are weird. Oh, you're supposed to go like right through that? That did not seem safe, so I backed off. Blood Money is the best of the early Hitman games? Okay. That's the second one? Looks like we've got 
Or no, the second one just hit man too, right? Oh my god, what the fuck? The Orkin is... No, we're fucking this thing out. Let's go. The fourth one? Okay, wow. I think I only played one and two. Oh my god. Something tells me we probably shouldn't be killing these things. Because they're like the manatees of the sky or something. But you know what? That's what we're here to do. We're going to do another one so that we get a better score. Considering we have 15 seconds left. Let's do it. But it's not over. I probably should have saved that one. Oh shit. Yeah, sometimes there's like rare creatures that show up, but they don't always show up and they'll give you way more money. So there is kind of like, you know, a little bit of RNG in terms of the loot drops and the stuff you're getting. Is it just all of them? Oh shit, okay, okay. Oh shit, they have like poison cloud? That's no good. There goes one. As long as... Oh, oh, oh. As long as I don't touch a poison cloud. Never mind. <laughs> Can I do this now? I feel like I need a better dragon or else I'm going to use all my generators. But also it's like, what are they for anyway? And if you quit, you lose all these items too. So it's better to just revive and try to get through it, I think. The poison cloud is rough, though. Yeah, no, I'll take your advice for it, Feline. I have at least one or two of the Hitman games, but I just haven't played them. Maybe the first and the second one I played, like, forever ago. Okay, so I can hold still and accelerate, but if I do that, then I'm, I'm kind of like a sitting duck. We just have to take them out one by one. And if you get these other little enemies, you'll get like extra money and I believe health. Well, actually, no. So there's there's certain weapons you can equip your dragon with that give you health when it kills enemies, which is pretty fucking cool. I like how they actually explode. <laughs> like it's like they explode like as if they're they're like a ship or something in a bullet hell game. I think the Panzer Dragoon games really do have, like, a lot in common. I mean, they're basically 3D bullet hell games. 3D shoot 'em ups But, like... I don't know. I mean, they feel very distinctly different from those, but there's a lot of that DNA in there. God, is it dead? All right, let me try this other one. Shit. That 
one's like too far away. I don't know if that one's like better, you know. Oh shit, okay, I have a minute left. I have a minute left. Oh shit. Now, I should do this because I'm almost there and I have literally a minute. Right, we got another pill for another level. Oh my god. Wild guns? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what's funny is that this was this was supposed to be like a connect game, but the only thing you use the connect for is to tell your your wingman what to do instead of just pressing the D-pad. It's like, you know, it really isn't, it doesn't need your body at all, you know? Okay, that can't have been too amazing. Yeah, that was a D. So we'll come back with a better dragon later and, you know, do this again. But yeah, I mean, a medal is a medal, you know? It's progress. Plus, we got a ton of rewards. And that thing is worth a ton of XP as well. Yeah, look at these item drops. Like... It's so cool. I love that... I love that this exists. I just, like, randomly saw it, and I was like, what is that? Oh, of course, it's another dragon game from this really awesome developer. Um, so, oh, I see. So the the dragon is at level three because it reverted back to one once I evolved it at level 10. That makes sense. So, there's Bullet Breeze, too. Yeah, we might as well just give it to this one. So you can teach other skills to dragons that aren't the right element for them, but then it just won't be very effective. Chain Ray Spark was all right. And it has the most attacks, so I mean, we might as well stick with that. But I, I really like the lightning the most, I think. Um, yeah, and then I guess we can evolve it again to Sorotea Radiance later on. That's good to know. I think we have other dragons to res re evolve right now. Dull Dark Shoulder Breeze. We need a Vespin Seed. That one is so oogly. It's cute. <laughs> Uh, Blackbone Photon. That one's scary as fuck. Yeah, that one... The, uh, the other three need a Vespin Seed, which I have not found yet. To evolve. Uh, so these are... This one's max level... This one's level four after being evolved, which I wish it would kind of show you somewhere that it did evolve at least once, but it's okay. Um, this one's still young and new. So we'll take this one into like an earlier level. Yeah, we can do that. The underground lake, I think, is the hardest area by far. Stemming the tide. The monster underground. This one was, this one was like, 
Oh my god. Hold the line. That one's still locked. We need one more pill for that. Viral vectors. All right, let's do it. Heads up, Rook. We've got multiple reports of White Reaver sightings coming in. If our suspicions are correct, the White Reavers and the White Phantom are connected to the Crimson Scale outbreaks we've been seeing. We've got to find them and take them down now before this goes any further. I'll be joining you on this one. Uh, all Should right, so we still up? have this good-ass partner. And our ampule. And this one looks a little bit better. Just a little bit, but it's there. Okay. <clears throat> Flying potatoes, yes. <laughs> so many potatoes. And giant, like... They look like atomic fireballs, you know? I'm like, put those cinnamon balls in my mouth. <laughs> Keep your eyes out for white reavers. They've got to be around here. Where I think I could have cleared all those enemies if I would have just used this gun. God damn it. No, you know what? No, we're restarting that. Actually, <laughs> I need to do it better from the get-go. There's even like a help thing in here. I don't think I even saw this. Oh, does it go to a website? Oh my God, it does. Oh my god, it goes to a website. Yep, yep. A website that's not there. Keep your eyes out for white reavers. They've got to be around here. Where are these? Oh, so I only have a limited what amount of the lightning. Because it's my sub weapon. Up. On this dragon. That's rough. There we go. This is going to be very hard with this dragon. Yeah. Holy shit. I need like a better one. No, we should just quit. Yeah, I can't take that dragon there. I need to take that one through the first few levels again. But hey, rewards and experience are rewards and experience, you know? Even if it's just a little bit, like, it's cool that you can just quit out and cut your losses and just take what you get, you know? Um, Alright, so a different dragon for this... I mean, this one's definitely my best now. But I feel like this one is good enough to handle this. No, not there. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, we have all of these. And they're all good, but the Remedy Blaze, even though the attack is the least, every time enemies die, it gives you health. And that's kind of great, you know? Um, but I guess we'll go with the most attack. Which is either Cannon Smolder or Volcanon. I don't know. Remedy Blaze is really good, though. All 
All right, let's let's go with the volcanic. It's fine. Uh, defense and life. More dragon games, you know? More dragon games. Not just fighting dragons, but being dragons. Not just Skyrim and Dragon's Dogma and Dragon Age, but literally being dragons. Keep your eyes out for white reavers. They yeah. But now I know exactly where to expect them from, you know? So it's like, it's a little easier to figure out. Yeah, I definitely have more firepower with this dragon. Not like too much where it makes it too easy though, which is like, you know, a nice balance. And I think that's how this game kind of works is that you take the right level dragons through the right difficulty missions and then you never get bored, you know? Right, like I couldn't even wipe him out all the way, but I still got an A. Oh god, these things... This one is a ton of money. Yeah, more dragon games forever, right? I'm like, I'm like, why aren't there more games where you can be the dragon? Like, what? <laughs> like, I'm sorry? That could be a whole thing. That could be a whole thing. This guy's holding it up. This guy, Yukio, is just holding up the whole idea on his on his shoulders. Like... <laughs> oh, we're doing our super. 22 seconds for the Hestrine? Absolutely not. What? That damage? That damage was insane! That damage was insane! <laughs> and I still got a B for that. They were like, no, you have to be do better. You have to be faster. That damage was like the most damage I've seen. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna fuck them up. Damn it. We've got three more inbound. I like how it always hits too. Like you don't have to worry about that missing. I could do another, but I'm gonna see what else happens. Cause sometimes there's like, oh no, it's another boss. <laughs> yeah, let's go. No big deal. But something tells me this no big deal, no big deal. It really helps to have the wingman. So I think that's the other thing, is that if you want an extra... If you want a real challenge, an extra challenge, you would turn the wingman off. And I will in certain circumstances, but I'm kind of like, let me just have fun with this and plow through it, and then I can go back later for, like, the true S's and the true challenges and all that. You know what I mean? It's kind of cool because they they really give you... They really give you, like, a... A sense of progress at the pace that you desire. Remedy Storm? I'm going to give that, I think, to the super high level dragon that I have. Or the highest level dragon that I have, I guess.
We finally got confirmation. But it seems our suspicions weren't totally right. According to the data, the White Phantom is without a doubt the primary source of the Crimson Scale virus. But it's not spreading the virus itself. The White Reavers are the main carriers of the disease. And there's no telling how many of those things there are. With the emergence of the Reavers, Seeker Command has to replan their strategy from the ground up. They'll be reassigning me temporarily to help with the new operation plan. Oh, kiss now, goodbye. All I can tell you is that I'll be tracking the White Reavers and searching for their source. Before I leave, there's one more thing I need to tell you. Our past, the fate of our future, and the dark history of our people may be tied to the lost colony. But what if there's hope to be found there too? Hope can make a person do the unthinkable. Just a chance to make things better can cause man to act in ways he never imagined he would. I've already said too much. I've got every confidence in you. But be careful out there while I'm Thanks. gone. And hey, so there's a shop, too. Uh, I just haven't really needed to buy anything, but we can buy new dragons. Golden Mohawk Smolder. Let's go. So you can pay with jewels... Uh, or you can pay with credits, and jewels you can also pay for with real money if you want, but you can just earn them in the game and earn credits in the game, so there's like no, there's no need to pay anymore, but it's like there, and I think a lot of people were like, oh, we don't like that, and I'm like, I'm like, hey, 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 ne games that give you a choice like this, that was fine. <laughs> it was the gateway, don't get me wrong, but that was fine optional DLC or optional credits that you buy but you can also earn in game totally okay with me but don't lock a game behind a paywall and this game doesn't do that you know all right golden mohawk smolder uh regenerators would be good those are good to have yeah, you can buy jewels. But I don't think it tells you how much it is until you go further in, and I'm okay. Um, item packs. Supporting three. I, <laughs> that could be a fantastic spam name or bot name, but... <laughs> and it is. And it is. Now. <laughs> we have hopes and dreams. <laughs> sometimes sometimes it's not a bot. Sometimes a total bot name is not a bot. But every now and then. <laughs> um, Thank you for the follow. Oh yeah, we don't have enough. It's okay. Alright, we're done. We're done. We're going to... Check out the new dragon. Golden Mohawk Smolder. Ooh. With the fur. Beautiful. Beautiful. Alright, so what do they have? They have Ray Bomb Smolder. And they probably, like, we're probably supposed to give Remedy whatever to them. But if it heals you on enemy death, on enemy deaths, like, every time you, you kill an enemy, if it heals you, then it doesn't really matter what the element is, is my line of thinking. So I should give it to my strongest dragon instead of to this level one. I went too far. Um... So let me, let me, let me see here. Remedy Storm. It's wind. Okay, so that is for the wind dragon. That's also for wind.
Um, you want the window, kitty? You do. Go ahead. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Oh yeah, wind. So dark shoulder breeze is my only wind. And I guess there's more elements. There's definitely way more dragons. So we're going to feed this dragon Remedy Storm. And I guess also... That's it. They're only level 4? Yeah, why not? Yeah, this is like the homeliest dragon that I have. Uh, that that is choosing to work with me, I should say. That is choosing to work with me. And they need a Vespin. All right, no, we're gonna take our best one out and just kind of plow through. Okay, we have the Shadow over Amara, which is going to be some huge-ass boss, I think. And we definitely need to do better on that stage, but let's do this one. We've got reports of another anomalous dragon spotted. I don't have any other details. No wingman, 50,000 or more, kill rate of 50% or better. We should just get that out of the way. We should just get that out of the way. Uh, no wingman, yeah. And we're our best dragon, so like we'll be fine, I think, with the strongest skill. Or no, wait, 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 ampule. That's fine. Cause you run through those ampules pretty fast. I think you can also buy, like, packs that have ampules and stuff in it, but honestly, this game is not that hard, especially if you have a wingman. If you don't have a wingman and you go through every stage with every dragon, it is definitely tougher depending on your dragon type and what your weapons are. Yeah, I'm all for these light dragons. I'm going to try to avoid enemy attacks. Oh, yeah, no wingman, right. This game is definitely at its best in the on-rails sections because you have enough control like Star Fox to sort of like, you know, maneuver around enough and you, you have to, to avoid shit. It. Yeah, there was no way I was going to do no damage on that first try. Yeah, that was C. I see, I see. That was it. I missed my chance. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to defeat most of these enemies, but 
like without a wingman, but to get the metal is worth it. Shit. That that one without a wingman is tough. Four minutes and 30 seconds? Oh my god. What? It's just that one? Can't tell which one is the one that does damage. Oh, it's that it's that top one. Okay. Yeah, they're switching it up though. I lost it. Wow, this is super tough. Okay, okay, this works. It works better anyway. Well, no, because it only does the one that's closest to you. You're just supposed to dodge during that, I guess. Shit. Yeah, yeah. That one back there. Shit. Uh, 
Oh, I see. So for this battle, you really do need to choose a weapon that you can just fire, like, at will. Oh, oh, oh. I don't have enough time, though. Oh. I don't have enough time anyway. And I didn't really get any items, so let's just cut our losses and take the experience. Yeah, I mean, it's something. You get a little XP. Because I'm not going to beat it and the time's going to run out and it's just like, that counts as a failure anyway. Yeah. Alright, so I think I need to either select a different skill or a different dragon. But I don't think either of these are going to work well. So it's a different dragon. Golden Mohawk's fucking smolder sounds amazing. Plus that defense? But we need to level them up. So, they have Bomb Smolder, and that's it. Um, yeah, Cannon Smolder. We still need that Vespin at some point. Well, we can take them through some older missions. Yeah. Yeah, so this one, like... You can just fire openly, like, no problem. That's what I need for this boss. Because otherwise, like, your, your sort of homing attack, even, you, both homing attacks, like, it's like you can't, they lock onto everything. So you need to be able to focus. Um, okay, what else are we doing? That's it. Okay, which one was that one? The Shadow over Amara, yeah. And wait, what are these? No Wingman, 50,000 points, 50% 50 or better. I think I can do this one. I think I can do this one. Okay, actually, before we do that, though, uh, I'm going to take just a quick little break and hit the bathroom. I will be our back. More dragons when I come back. Here be.
Welcome back, y'all. Uh, Crimson Dragon is fantastic. I'm loving this game. We're about to do this big ass boss. Uh, I have to do it without a Wing Man, which sucks, but. Agility and defense actually sounds really good. Yeah. Yep. This is like a brand new dragon, but we're just gonna see. Because this one has crazy defense, so I think we'll be fine. Uh, Feline, what are some other dragon games that you know? probably way too hard for this dragon. It's just a baby. But I need to, like, strengthen this one. Oh, yeah, the defense is good. I need to strengthen this one because it's gonna end up being more useful than my original fire dragon. the opportunity for that one but like I don't know we'll see we'll see what happens with this boss Spyro yeah 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 no I yeah absolutely Spyro actually way back in the day like on Game Boy there was and on NES there was like an Asmic and I think he was like a little dragon. Maybe he was just dinosaur. There's that game Lair on PS3. It wasn't that great, but it's not terrible. It's definitely no pans of dragon though. Recruitable Dragons and Heroes Hour? That's cool. Yeah, indeed. More Dragon Games. Yeah, with no lock-on, it is definitely harder to an extent, but I think it's going to come in handy for this boss. I just may need to, like, level this dragon up way more before I come back to this. Yeah. That was the same. I think this boss is going to be easier with this, though. Fire Emblem, Blood Hunter, welcome back. Thanks for the lurk. I wish I had a lurk command. I should make one. I will. I'll make one just for you. Alright, so we need to find which one is the fucking thing. And then we need to pelt it into submission. day. Oh 
Hold on. Okay. This one's really tough. It's that one, yeah. Shit. Yeah, we can do this, we can do this. If I have to use a fucking regenerator, I will. Oh yeah, and Drakengard is another one. Drakengard. Those were cool. Obviously Dragon Quest. <laughs> But you don't really get to play as dragons. I don't think so. Oh my god! I did it before I died! I got an A on that? And that's with a brand new dragon, like level 4. Whoa. I love... I love, like, the world that this is in. New area? Could these be the ruins of Draco's native civilization? What in the okay, world is this Okay, I definitely didn't thing? get 50,000 points or more, that's for sure. But a B is not bad. I will take it. That's how you do it. Level one dragon. Level one dragon. And we got that Tosca seed. Cool, cool. I need a fucking Vespin seed though. Like bad, I've needed it since the beginning. Okay, that was like really, really good. Um. It's all about the weapon you choose, not necessarily the stats. I mean, the stats help, but if you don't have the right weapon in terms of how it fires, it can fuck you up in games like this. Because some of the enemies are just, like, all over the place, and your homing attack will just, you know, go for everything. <clears throat> uh, let me... I mean, this is a good dragon to have, too, because it also has good defense. Like, I didn't even die which was kind of incredible. So for mega defense and a free shot, this is the dragon. I wish I could like rename them as what they're good at, but golden mohawk smolder is pretty cool. Uh, also the light one, Sil silver tail spark has like crazy agility. And then blood skin smolder has the most attack. Which we still need to evolve. Right? We don't have the thing. Nope. A golden Vespin seed. Where the fuck is that? Where is that? Uh, okay, so... Lost Colony. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The truth will out. It'll out you out of the closet. That's what the truth will do. He's like, I put my toe in. 
I don't know. I was in the bathroom at a rest stop. He's not ashamed. Uh, so, wait, what are the... We just got to... Yeah, let's select a wingman for sure. Um, yeah. There's also Draconis. Or no, well, you know, I mean, that has dragons in it, but you can't play as them. Yeah, I haven't played Spyro in years. Like, years and years and years. I remember I really liked the third game. Year of the Dragon. That was a fantastic video game. We have, like, I think the remasters. I just haven't fucked with them. That looks cool as fuck. Okay. Whoa. We could just fuck them up so that we avoid their attacks, so to speak. Those take two hits each. That doesn't look friendly at all. Okay, that was cool. hurt very much though which is good and I didn't get hit in that one section so I'm gonna roll with it Only seven seconds. Let's go.
these levels, these stages are the highlight of this game for me. Like, the combat's great, the evolving, the dragon keeping, like, all that. Everything else is great, but, like, the level design, it's like sin and punishment. It's, like, really, really varied and creative. S on that. Let's go. Oh my fucking god. That's kind of how it always is. It always like starts out like we're gonna kill this thing. We're, we're gonna go into this thing and see what we find. But oh no, it came, and now we need a new level. But that's good because then it's like it just breaks everything up more, you know. Honestly, this is kind of what this game needed. Because Panzer Dragoon, each, you know, there's only like seven stages or something. And each one takes like almost an hour. Or sometimes, you know. It was way more of a commitment. This game you can just like do in bursts. And it's all good. Deb, what's going on? Aragon? That's another one, yeah, Aragon. We were trying to think of all the dragon stuff. Dragon Heart. Uh, dragon Guard. When Sana and I returned Panzer Dragoon. Base, officials from Seeker Command were waiting for me. I was taken to the capital for questioning, but to me it felt more like interrogation. At the time, I hmm. knew almost nothing. I answered their questions as best I could. Ruins contained a passage. How to train passage your dragon, up obviously. To an unknown city. The city was contaminated with crimson scales. And in the city, I saw the white phantom. Nothing more, nothing less. It was obvious I wasn't telling them anything they didn't know. But I managed to overhear snatches of their conversations. New pieces for the puzzle. One of the officials said, We can't let Amara's location leak. And another, it shouldn't be operative. We are supposed to have control. And Draco Delta 731 still has viability. We have to keep it running for now. It would be a while before I understood what they'd meant. Then one day, for what seemed like no reason, I was released and sent back to my original post. I was told they couldn't spare a rider with my experience and skills. There had to be more to it. Sure enough, when I returned to camp, I discovered it was Sana who'd gotten me released. Welcome back. I hope you learned a lesson from your time in the capital. Whatever you may have heard, may have seen, you're not the only one carrying secrets. I've been right where you are. The fact of the matter is, in this line of work, there are things that are best forgotten. 
The opening of the passage, the ruins of the Lost Colony, let it go. Command has ruled that the Lost Colony of Amara will be sealed off. With the exception of a few tightly controlled sites, there'll be no getting in or out of that place. Once they've cut off access to the ruins and the passages they contain, Amara will fade from what is that and mean? entirely. Your part in the mission is over. From now on, Seeker Command Okay, I'm like... Does that mean we can't do anything? No, that's just the current story. Um, okay. So... Yeah, I mean, I got an A on that. That's good for now. We have new ones over here. I like gold investment seed. That's what we need. I guess we do it by, by killing them. Yeah, let's do this one. Um, we need the right dragon, though. Okay, let's do Sil Silvertail Spark, yeah. We can hire another wingman too. These stats? Oh my god, five we five we could just brute force everything. Let's do it. It's so, like, sci-fi, but in a way that you don't normally see. Alright, we're going to try to get all of them. That's an S. Let's go. It's a big one. it okay good yeah let's go oh yeah 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 this is like the hardest part because sometimes there's enemies also and you're trying to worry about getting these like these medallions or whatever okay this is going much better than the last time All right, here we go, here we go. That was, that was right on the edge of the screen, damn it. I got an A, I got an A. No way.
It's like Pokemon Snap with lots of guns. But I like that it's not like bullets. It's all like energy guns and like alien tech and stuff. Happy time zones indeed. Hello, Zapper. Let's go, S. I know we're gonna get to a point where we have to destroy a bunch of hives. And I haven't even had to use my super yet, but. gonna do one right now. Yeah. I think this is pretty much gonna be a breeze because we're taking a high level evolved dragon back to an earlier level. But that's what's cool is that this game, depending on your dragon level, you know, there's all these opportunities to do levels in different varying levels of difficulty and also levels of, like, what you can do with, you know, dragons that are at different points in their evolution cycle, you know? Not too dissimilar from Pokemon in a way, just not the same kind of game at all. We don't even need to use a super on this guy. We just put him out of, out of his misery. All right. Impressive work. We've never seen Gleerin that large before, and never behaving so aggressively. It must be due to the recent disturbances in their habitat. Uh, my partner's doing better. Pete is doing better. Um, he sleeps with, like, an oxygen machine at night, but he doesn't feel like he needs it during the day, but he has, like, a spare tank, you know, that he keeps with him. Um, and I think he's doing a lot better. Thanks for asking. Yeah, let's go. You get a level up for almost every mission you do, basically. But I'm not sure what the maxes are for the player. Yeah, thank you. Me too. Um, okay, so this one is Silvertail. Right, right, right. So... Ray Bomb Photon. Okay, that's really good because now I have a, a free shot weapon for this dragon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't hurt quite as much as the Chain Ray Spark, but... The other ones are like heat seekers, so actually this is good to have because then, then this this dragon has both kinds of like shot, or two kinds of shot. Hmm, maybe it does lock on. We'll see. We'll see. I don't think so though. All right, so sure, why not? Thank you for that. Have a good day at work. Get your uh, get that money.
I'm feeling pretty lucky because my job pays for like holidays, but you get like you get like half a day, like you get like four hours, you know. But still, I'm like, I've I've rarely had jobs that do that, even you know. Um, photon vision, I think we already have, right? Yeah, yeah, because right, right. Um. Let me just give these other dragons these skills, though. Ray Bomb and Cannon Smolder. Yeah, I know. And then the winds. Right. So we have... We can sell these items, basically. I should actually do that. I mean, we're gonna get more dragons, and they could use those, I guess. But I kind of want to see how much they would sell for. Oh, we got the ultimate seed. I'm not gonna sell that. But yeah, 100 credits? No way. Yeah, that's not worth it. Alright. Let's go... We're gonna choose our dragon after we choose our mission, I think. Alright, let's keep going with this. Take no damage, 50,000. Alright, this should be... No, no, this should be, um... Silver, silver Tail, for sure. I need you to go back through the passage to the Lost Colony and retrieve the data I left behind. If you're willing to help, get going and I'll send you the coordinates. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I need to change that, because it's not the same as it was. Oh, no, we're starting. Let's go. Ow. Take no damages out. That's okay. I had no illusions that I would take no damage. It almost never happens. Very tough to do. It's very, very, very tough to not get damage in this game at all. Nerd, got him. Hey, what's going on? Welcome in. Is it like RSR2, or is there like an easier, cooler way to say it? Just so I know. I'm being sloppy here. Ultimate seed, yeah. You know you want that ultimate seed. That's that's the kind of items you want in your video games. Ultimate seed. RSR2 is the way to say it? Okay, cool. I like that you also have gamer or gaming in your name, you know? That's cool. For me, it's kind of like it gets it gets the riffraff out of the way. You know what I mean? <laughs> why you gotta make everything gay? Because I gotta, that's why. Because I don't really, I don't really, you know, like, I've had so many people say that I don't flag as not straight in any way. And I think that's interesting. So sometimes you gotta spell it out for people, you know? But it's nice to have, like, gamer or gaming in your name. Because it makes it feel more like... 
I don't know. It makes it feel like you are a part of something. And that's a good feeling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I totally get it, yeah. Yeah, three, I mean, we were three bears gaming for a long time. That was definitely a B. I don't, wait a second. I don't think there's a button to like feed. Mm. Oh, you can't see it here. I don't think you can feed your dragon like as you're flying. Like, I think it's later. Yeah, it's only in the menu. That's right. That's right. But we might have to use a regenerator on this one. We'll see. How's your night going? What's going on? Razor 2? That is kind of cool. Oh yeah, ASU, yeah, through through Starbucks. Oh my god. Like, if you want me to go on a Starbucks rant, I so will. <laughs> I miss some of the people I work with, and I miss moving around with Starbucks, because it's a great job to be able to transfer with. You know? Because you, you kinda always have a job no matter where you go. But it, they do not pay enough, one. And even with all the extra perks and the food and the college and all that, it's like the customers are the worst people of all time. And so I'm gonna need an extra 10 bucks an hour like yesterday. You know what I mean? It's kind of like, y'all just make it worth it and then we'll fucking do these fucking jobs. You know what I mean? Like, I, I just, uh, I've had a lot of jobs that could be, descri could be described as customer service in one, one way or another. It's like the shittiest people. And I've worked in bars, okay? I've worked in bars. Starbucks were, I've worked in bars. I've worked at restaurants. You know, I've been a server. I've like, oh, I didn't realize we were in free mode. Hold on, hold on. You know, yeah, Starbucks people are the worst. <laughs> it's so culty, it's so culty. And it gives people this entitlement, this sense of entitlement. Okay, I need to like, I need to like organize my fucking ass here to kill these enemies. Hold on. <laughs> uh, I'm so honestly, I know, I know it's been tough. I know it's been tough, but I promise you that was, that was a blessing in disguise. What, whatever you get next, whatever you do next, I'm sure you'll find something that works better for you. And you're going to be like, wow, I really don't miss that. <laughs> you know, I promise, I promise. Trust me, I was drinking eight drinks a day. I was pulling four and five days a week while doing my events at the same time to start off with. And like, it just, it left me feeling so drained and so anxious all the time, you know? Yeah, we're not gonna give up those items, fuck all that. We still have a minute and 30 seconds. Let's kill this shit. Your partner kind of just goes all over the place, but they do come around and help, but like not as much as they should. Okay, that was an A, that was good. Yeah, I mean, we do what we gotta do. I'm still looking for a second one. I mean, do what you gotta do, but I will say like, you're really good with people, and, like, you have a, a, a really nice demeanor and charm about you, and that's what it took for me to start doing events and, like, you know, sort of just, like, getting to know people and also just being, like, a de learning how to be a decent, peop a decent person in a group, you know? Um... It's amazing what you can accomplish when you like rally people to get behind something or come to an event or be part of something, you know, I feel like you have, uh, you, you, I mean, I don't know you that well, but like just from hanging out and stream the other night, it was like, you kind of do have that magnetism. So use that, you know? Okay. That was good. I got an A and two medals. 
Take no damage was not going to happen in that stage. I'm sorry. Take no damage in that whole stage? Maybe. I don't know. I mean, I didn't get pummeled, but I had to use Regenerator once, so that's going to be a tough challenge for later. I think you'd be great at that. Hey, what can I say? <laughs> uh, also, on Tuesday is Fight Night, as always. I, I take a break sometimes, like I took a break this week. But Fight Night goes from about 7 p.m. Eastern to about midnight or 2 a.m. Eastern, sometimes later. Um, this week, or next week, we're going to play Marvel vs. Capcom 2 and 3, Smash Ultimate, um, and then possibly any amount of anime games, like Grand Blue's really been good, Under Night's been really good, I'm always down for Blaze Blue Central Fiction, um, and then Guilty Gears, of course. Accent Core, like, I would do all that. We always play Smash Brothers first. And then after that, I at least do. I want to do at least one Marvel. It's probably going to be three, unless Darkstorm Queen shows up, and then we'll do two. But Peach will probably be there, and I think Jim will probably be there, so we're probably going to do three on uh, PS4. Uh, but soon we're going to eventually mi migrate over to PC for UM UMVC three. Your wolf tattoo? No. I love Marvel 2 to death, and I'm learning to love 3, and I'm getting really good at it. You know, relatively. In in, in our friend group, I'm getting good at it. I don't know about randos from Japan online. <laughs> I don't know about that. The Shadows. Marvel 2 is the best fighting game of all time. Let's just be real. 56 characters at launch. 56 characters at launch. You just have to unlock them by playing the game. And by the time you by the time you've played arcade mode on any difficulty with 56 characters, you like know the game enough to start playing with people, you know, for sure. We did so many versus matches. Oh my god. Like my total versus matches in that game is probably something astronomical, like millions. Like, I've played it so much on Dreamcast and PS2 and GameCube and Fightcade and the arcade. Yeah, I fucking love it. We even played that shit on fucking uh, uh, Null DC Bear before Fightcade became better. We were using Null DC Bear with the Radman VPN and fucking, like, doing this whole rigmarole. It was, it was sick. It was cool. Whatever we can do to play Marvel 2, you know what I mean? Uh, tonight, if you don't know, I'm playing Crimson Dra Dragon. This is like Panzer Dragon 3, basically. It was a launch game on Xbox One. I never heard of it until a couple weeks ago, and I saw it for 374, and I was like, this looks fucking sweet. Let's play this dragon game. Violator. Uh, this actually could be good. For this dragon. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 And let's level up too, because why not? So this game, what's really cool about this game is that you're doing dragon-based missions, right? It's a rail shooter, but sometimes there's free areas, just like Star Fox 64. And then you can feed your dragons, you can evolve your dragons. Like, this one can become Sil 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 Silvertail Radiance. Once we reach level max. Uh, and then there's a fuck ton of dragons. Like, I've only gotten, like, six of them or something, or five of them. But there's way more to this. And then... I feel like this bears explanation, to be honest. Um, we have a bunch of different missions. There's a lava lake now, which I didn't even fucking know. And then what's cool is that each level has medals that you have to get, and those are what unlock more of the stuff. But they're all, like, individual challenges per stage. It's not just, like, a lot of games that are, like, you know, like, like sort of 
default challenges that apply to any stage. It's like every single one of the 40 fucking stages or whatever has their own individual unique challenges that take the right dragon with the right element with the right weapon choice to make sure you like maximize your stats and exactly what you need to do. It's like it's like way more it's a mixture of Panzer Dragoon the shooting game and Panzer Dragoon Saga the RPG game. It's like the RPG menus but the action of the shooting games. But yeah, so the cool thing is we can hire a wingman and our wingman have different stats and these are people that are on my friends list on xbox but like you don't you're not playing with them directly it just makes an ai based off of their stats to use in battle to help you out and i just think that's fucking sweet so like this game can just keep living on and on whether you have someone to actually play with or not as long as other people have raised any dragons then there are a pool of dragons you can always use for the game to, you know, try to get S ranks and unlock all this other stuff. It's a whole thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's like multiplayer, but also asynchronous multiplayer at the same time. And I think that's super sweet. Okay, the Violator Photon. No, I want this one because this one has like... You can, you can freely shoot instead of having a lock on. Like, you get two weapons at a time. You get, and I think the best way to do it is to have one that's a lock on and one that's a free shoot. Because certain enemies, it's like you can't really get them, get their damage or, you know, like up if you can't directly, like, attack the parts of them that you want to attack. Oh, shit. This one's tough already. I missed those. I thought it was gonna go the other way. Okay, here we go, here we go. There's so many in this stage. Oh my god. Yeah, the levels I think are the highlight of this game. I mean, everything about this game is cool, but the levels are awesome. Like, way more than most games of this style. You know what I mean? Like, rail shooters. The only game I've seen that really does more than this is, um, what do you call it? Uh, Child of Eden, or like Res, you know? Or like, you know, old arcade like Jurassic Park was like super intense and over the, over the top. LA Machine Guns, that kind of shit. Oh no. Yeah, it's all about like telling your partner where to be too. Like the partner's in front of me right now, the wingman. But depending on where the enemies are coming from, you have to like maneuver your wingman and tell them where to go. Otherwise, you're just doing way less damage than you could be. Because they won't attack from the back. Because you're like not trying to hit each other, you know? Like they account for that. Even though you can't kill your wingman, it's like, just aesthetically, they account for how you probably don't want to be in the way of, you know, your partner's bullets. It's like, the attention to detail in this is insane. The other game that I would say that is mind-blowing as far as, like, a on-rail shooter is Sin and Punishment 2. Sin and Punishment 2 is, like, the wildest shit I've ever seen in my life. Like, some of those levels and what happens and the bosses and... It's just, like, insane. It's insane. Only Treasure could devise a game that insane. Let's go, S-Rank. Let's go. Yeah, Res is fucking incredible. If you haven't played Child of Eden, like, the spiritual successor to Res, you know, it's uh, Tetsuya Mizuguchi. Fucking incredible shit. Also on Xbox. Also on Xbox. A lot of Sega stuff. A lot of, like, 
very specific Sega things only kind of got pushed over to Xbox, and PlayStation and Switch, like, got left in the dust with those, you know? But there is Panzer Dragoon Remake on Switch. It's just a remake of the first game. This is technically the fourth game? No, this is the fifth game. This is the fifth Panzer Dragoon. Yeah, I actually should change that. If I'm being completely honest. Because there's Panzer Dragoon 1 and 2. There's Saga the RPG. There's Orda on original Xbox. This is number five. That's how it goes. Candy Rangers? Yeah. Also, like, Rogue Squadron. Like, I, I'm a huge fan of, like, flying shooting games. Like, Rogue Squadron... Uh, Shadows of the Empire, where you get to drive the snow speeder and like tie up the AT-ATs, like Tie Fighter, all that shit. Um, one of my favorite games is uh, Shadow Squadron on like 32X and Saturn. Ugh. I need to like they they did a fan translation in English of Stellar Assault, which is like the Saturn version, and it's so fucking good. And I need to give that a try too. That's another game I want to play at some point. All the games, so many games. Um, so... Yeah, we don't need any of these, really. But I'm just like, let's pump experience into these dragons and evolve again. Why not? How much do we, more do we need? Like, five more levels. No, three more levels. Two more levels. Candy Rangers is just a demo right now. Magical girl rail shooter where you control four characters at once. That sounds amazing. Uh, Sin and Punishment is two players, but what's interesting is the second player doesn't have a body on screen, so they don't have to avoid damage. They just help player one, which is great because you don't have to worry about getting confused. And also, the second player can be like a person who doesn't, you know necessarily play a lot of video games you could play it with like a partner or a spouse or something who's not into shooters or whatever and they can't be damaged it's all about the first player avoiding the damage and doing melee attacks and stuff so like i, I really like that level of accessibility because shooting games are hard you know um this game makes it easy like you can put it on i have it on classic mode and i'm taking like low level dragons and playing hard levels but upping their defense stats so i can so i can just brute force and last through it um, and you can make this game as hard or as easy as you want it to based on how the stats and stuff work, which is really cool. Um, I'm going to do another Lost Col Colony level because I, I really like the way this looks. So S rank, 70 or better, and no wingman. We could try it. We could give it a try. It's probably going to be really hard, though. It's probably going to be really hard. But let's try it without a wingman. Because then you just automatically get that, you know? And then you choose an ampule, which is kind of like a, uh, like a stat boost for that, for that particular mission. Uh, and then... See, the attack is better with the chain ray spark, but the ray bomb photon is just, it just fires with free fire you don't have to lock on and that's what i prefer if i'm being honest because that's how the old games were well no the no the old games had a lock on too i guess yeah. yeah yeah but free free fire is always like good for just about any situation that sounds cool feline If you find me, like, a demo of that or something, I would be grateful. Oh, shit. I'm over here, like, not firing. Oh, shit. I missed those three. Oh. 
Yeah, with no wingman, which means when you don't have a wingman, you can't... I mean, you can't, you know, you don't have help, and also you can't do a super. Because a super is only with two dragons. The big cutscene move. That was a ton of medallions or whatever. The beacons, the beacons. I mean, I, I missed nine. That's not, that's not horrible. Yeah. Oh, this one is a lock-on. Whoa, okay, it's like a grenade. It's like a grenade. That's cool. I'll save that for a boss. Shit. You found the demo, the, the demo on, on itch? Hell yeah, hell yeah. Tomorrow night, y'all, I will be streaming again, uh, not only with my friend Foxy Jules, while they play Illusion of Gaia, we're gonna sit and chat, but I'm also gonna be streaming the Zelda 2 remaster, like Adventure of Link. If you haven't seen that yet, it is also on itch, it is incredible, and I've wanted to play Zelda 2 and beat it for like my entire life, since I was like five, or three or something and it's always been so brutally hard and inaccessible and this this new game really really makes it much more accessible and expands it and it's just like I'm kind of excited as fuck I've been wanting to like like Zelda 2 has been on my backlog since I was a child because I didn't grow up with an NES I grew up with a Game Boy and a Genesis and then after that N64 and then after that, uh, NES, and then after that, Dreamcast. Like, we got everything in a, in a weird order, you know? We didn't necessarily keep up with, like, the times or whatever. I was always, like, I always felt like I was late to the party. And so over time, I collected a lot of games and totally, like, you know muscled my way through that satisfaction loop. <laughs> and now I have a fuck to, now I have too many games. Now I have shelves and shelves and and ridiculous amounts. I, uh, I I I don't know, I don't know. Someday I'm hoping that I don't wait too long before nothing is worth anything <laughs> and then I can't like sell them or something. But I do keep them because I love them. You know, I really do love video games, but um but someday, if I have to sell them, I will. And some of them I've been keeping in mind just for that purpose, you know? Shit. This is a tough stage, especially without a partner. There's way too many beacons. The beacons are out of control. This is probably the most beacons I've seen in any stage. Okay, I got an A though. I mean, cool. Optional pass. I love that. You know, one of my favorite shoot 'em up games is uh, the Cotton series, and specifically uh, Panorama Cotton on Genesis. The one that's like kind of faux 3D with like scaling and shit and they have like different paths and stuff it's super cool we'll play that sometime all right i almost got an s i almost got an s but that's a very difficult stage that stage is not fucking around experience seed do it today Yeah, I love Itch so much. Um, I didn't put this stream or the Zelda stream on the schedule, but I will. 
But I'm just like, you know, Fight Night is kind of like a always, except when I need a break. And then other streams just happen. <laughs> I love Panorama Cotton. It's so silly. And it has the thing where like it has the the the, the, the items are like scrolls. And when you shoot them they bounce. So you can keep them bounced and they change colors and depending on the color is like either how much bonus you get or what weapon you're gonna get. So like you can keep them in play and bouncing and changing colors for like minutes on end and have eight of them juggling while you're killing enemies and avoiding uh, bullets. And it's just like Panorama Cotton is like Insanity. It was great. All the cotton games are good, but Panorama, I think, is my favorite. I didn't think so. Command may think they've locked down Amara, but clearly they're wrong. If someone can get in and out, then the White Phantom can too. <laughs> oh, baby. I hope you're keeping your focus where it should be. If it comes time to face off with that beast again, you have to be prepared. This sounds like that Twitter th thread about how to give head. <laughs> the White Phantom isn't unstoppable. You have to hit it faster to regenerate itself. You have to have skill and concentration. You have to have <laughs> Don't let her down. You better not. Now get going. Okay, so we can buy a new Don't dragon, the Snow Wing Breeze, with extreme agility. And we have enough credits. Let's do it. Uh, more regenerators, because why the fuck not? They're cheap. I like how there's, like, three different areas you can go to missions, basically. Or whatever. Like, you can go to missions at that back screen if you just want to play missions, but you can go to this screen and customize your dragon and choose it and all that, and then, like, go to missions here, and then it gives you one more chance to change your dragon and whatever. It's kind of interesting the way they do the menus. Alright, we're just gonna... We're just gonna max this one. And get that Radiance... Mm hmm. So now we can evolve this one. Silver, silver tail radiance. Right? Those wings. Those wings are beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cotton is, like, super, like, old-school anime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's do the Underground Lake. Because I've been meaning to do this one. They're like, don't use a wingman, damn it. Okay. Yeah, so we don't need a wingman. Really. Like, like, eventually we can do a, a wingman and get, like, a better grade, but There's the whole point of doing the first mission is just to, like, get that mission out of the way. That metal of, like, having no wingman. Like, you might as well just do that, you know? Alright, a celery. This one also has more damage, but it's another, like, lock-on, and I don't really want a lock-on. I don't know, this bomb is... I don't know, let's try this one. Let's try this one. Because the bomb is still a lock-on, kind of, it's just like a different lock-on, it's weird. Alright, new dragon time. This game almost feels like a 360 game in, in some of the ways that it works, but 
it definitely looks a lot better than 360, and I think everything is a lot slicker. It reminds, this game reminds me of why I wanted to get an original Xbox in the first place. Because there were like really good looking, high action spectacle like action games on, on original Xbox. Halo and Gun Valkyrie and Atogi and Stranger's Wrath and Half-Life 2. Everything was like super good looking and super like in your face and fast. Um... And, and it's not like games like that didn't exist on other consoles, but like Xbox just had so many games that were kind of like really hyper expanded, high quality, like arcade experiences in addition to like deep story, Morrowind, whatever, you know, like, I don't know. That was like originally why I got an Xbox because I knew all the Sega games were going to be on it. Or at least like an interesting sort of subset of Sega games. Like, they got Crazy Taxi 3, Gun Valkyrie Otogi, Panzer Dragoon, uh, and then they got games like, like Jade Empire, and Scrapland, and all these PC ports. Pardon me if I fall in love with Xbox again. I mean, PlayStation is always going to be about my fighters. And even though there are fighters on Xbox, it's not the same. Like, they have Killer Instinct and Dragon Ball, or uh, fucking... I mean, I mean, there are, like, all, many fighters do exist on Xbox, but not enough of all of them to justify not having a PlayStation for me. Because if you want to play fighting games, you kind of have to have PlayStation. You know, if, if we're talking about consoles, obviously PC, but like PlayStation is where all the fighting games on consoles are. And that's usually what I like to play, but not always. Not all the time. There's a lot of other great games out there, and I have kind of uh, been kind of slow to jump around lately into different games from different eras, but I like to keep that rhythm like, you know, we just played Turok, and then tomorrow we're going to jump, you know, we're, we're playing this. This is from 10 years ago. And then tomorrow we're going to jump back into, you know, NES times. Uh, and then soon I want to play uh, Thirsty Suitors, which just came out. And it's on Game Pass. It's on this Xbox. So Thirsty Suitors looks really cool. Persona 4 Arena is on here, too. It is on here, too. And I have it on... I have it... I have Ultimax on PlayStation... Or no, on, on 360. But I need to get it on PC. That's still one that I'm waiting to go on sale. Because, like, I don't think it has rollback. Or did it get rollback? Did Ultimax get rollback on Steam? Because then I will buy it. Because that's just a great game. They're probably not going to do another one, either. Maybe, I mean, I don't know. Persona is getting a lot of, like, they had Strikers and Tactica. Like, they are getting a lot of alternative media, I guess, or alternative games to their main games. But I don't know if they'll do another arena. Thirsty Suitors looks super interesting. You know, it's like, for once, not an all-white cast. Like, it's, it's like music and, like, graffiti and, like, skateboarding. And like rhythm mini games, and like it looks really cool. It looks really interesting. It kind of looks like how like it takes two. Like it's not like necessarily a co-op game, but what I mean is like there's just such a variety in the in the gameplay. Like just from the trailer, you see like four different kinds of gameplay in Thirsty Suitors, and I thought that looked really cool. So yeah, we'll do that soon. But tomorrow, uh, Zelda 2, Zelda 2 Remake, which is free on Itch. And I will give it to people, but I, I just, if you see stuff like that specifically, don't share that shit on social media. Like, talk about it on social media, but don't, like, give the link on Twitter or Instagram because it's, like, it's going to get shut down. It's going to get shut down like AM2R got shut down. 
because it's really, really good. And it deserves love, but not from Nintendo. <laughs> um, okay, that was a really good one. I got two medals. And if I if I gone, had gone into that with a wingman, I think I could make that an S for sure. Let's go level up. I wish it would tell you what evolution part you're in, like mark that somewhere. But I guess if you've played the game, then you know what those are already, you know? But it would be nice to see like somewhere where it says like, like it says level two for my dragon, but it's, it's evolution three level two. So it's essentially level 22, you know? And I have to get to level 30 and I guess there's one more evolution or maybe not, I don't know. Uh, that might be it. We do have a bunch of dragons, though. And I still have a lot more to get. And they have a little lore on each one. Pretty cool. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Turn-based combat, skateboarding, cooking. Yeah, it's so it looks so charming and wonderful. So uh, maybe next week we'll play that. Well, you know, like like I, I guess for me it's kind of like I just play games until I'm done with them or or until I'm bored with them. This isn't a game that we're probably going to like beat on stream because this is a game about doing selecting from a wide variety of levels with a wide variety of dragons and leveling them all up over time and like playing things again and again and trying to get perfect grades and stuff like that. It's very arcadey in that way. And I like that, but there's, you know, I mean, I, I'm sure the story ends, but it's like, it's not really set up like start to finish, you know? So like, this is kind of like, I just wanted to hop on and play this. But yeah, tomorrow Zelda 2, and I do think I want to finish Zelda 2. I'm going to try to like beat it for the first time. It says it only takes like 10 hours. So I think, I've already put more than 10 hours into this game. So I think, like Zelda 2 would be good and then after that uh I think I'm gonna do 30 suitors so um we downloaded a bunch of games actually too I want to like just for a second let's show off some of the games we just got um so we got Need for Speed Hot Pursuit Turok 2 Braid Super Meat Boy Outland The Orange Box Shadow Complex. These are all my games from, like, 360 from back in the day. And then there's some Game Pass stuff, too. Lies of P is on Game Pass. I'm like, what? Um, I think we need to do D4 on stream as well at some point. It is absolutely batshit crazy and hilarious. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm trying. The, the Bears and I have been playing... Uh, the, the Star Wars Squadrons game was like three bucks and it still has online crossplay. And I'm like, what? Yeah, there's Thirsty Suitors. Y'all want to see this trailer really quick? We should watch the trailer for Thirsty Suitors. People should check this game out. This looks so fucking cool. <laughs> yeah, that game looks amazing. Like, I almost want to play it right now. That's that that game looks amazing. So soon we will play that. Uh, after Zelda 2. Or maybe, you know, like in between or whatever. Sometimes I take like palette cleanses. We have all the trines. I still haven't played Scarlet Nexus, but it was five bucks physical, so I snatched that shit. I still haven't played the uh, DLC for Shredder's Revenge. Um I've been meaning to play Nobody Saves the World, but it's not on Game Pass anymore. Uh, I've been meaning to play the Gunk and Firewatch forever. 
Like, there's just so many games I haven't played yet, honestly. But let's get back to the dragon. The dragoon. Um, okay, so I think we're good. I think we're just going to take on... Yeah, let's go. This dragon can handle just about anything, I think. Uh, yeah. Right, these Vespin won't shut the fuck up. Let's do... Let's do it. Uh, yeah, and let's take a wingman with us, too. With the way things have been lately, command wants us to make yep. sure we've got the camp locked down tight. We've already got reports of infected Vespin encroaching on our lines and... D4 is developed, it's kind of like a heavy rain or like point and click, but also with a lot of QTEs and like active stuff kind of game. It's by the guy who makes Deadly Premonition, but spoilers, there was supposed to be like several parts of it and there's only like what's on, like there's only like the first season essentially, so you do get a really wild ride that is crazy and fun and imaginative, but you don't get to see what happens in the larger story. Uh, but it was only like three bucks, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna grab that, and I'm gonna grab Crimson Dragon, I'm gonna I'm gonna grab Star Wars Star Wars Squadrons because they were all three bucks or whatever. Sweary, yeah, yeah, it's very bizarre and hilarious. Uh, lots of weird like quick time events and stuff that. That, that call back to games like, you know, Shenmue or Dragon's Lair even, but like is so much more ridiculous and entertaining in terms of what you need to do in a certain amount of time. Like, like you know, toilets and doing stuff in your house and like interacting with weird people and having bizarre conversations. It's like, it's like really, really funny. Deadly Premonition 2, I haven't even played either of them, but I've seen a lot of them. And they, Deadly Premonition owes every part of its DNA as a video game to uh, Ill Bleed and Blue Stinger. Because it's like the same kind of ridiculous, like almost Twin Peaks as a game. Not only similarly in the story in bizarre ways, but also just weird and like very little explanation for why it's weird and why people say certain things or why things happen like it's one of those things like an art house sort of you know I, I love shit like that but it's like it's kind of hard to describe to people sometimes but yeah if you like Deadly Premonition you're bound to like D4 D4 has nothing to do with like the D series like D1 and 2 on PlayStation and Dreamcast but uh, it's called D4 because it's Deadly Dreams Don't Die. So it's four Ds, you know? And because it's classy. It's fancy. Um, I'm just going to say this, even though I typically don't care for celebrity drama or who's better than who or whatever, but there was something going on on social media about Iggy Azalea somehow being compared to Megan the Stallion uh no Iggy Iggy is irrelevant okay Iggy is Iggy Azalea is irrelevant like no <laughs> Megan all day let's let's just get that out of the way <laughs> I know that came out of nowhere but I said fancy and it got me thinking It's funny though, because that's usually not the stuff that I listen to all the time or anything. But like, I just saw that going by on like Twitter and it was like, excuse me? No. That's like comparing fucking Hillary Duff to Mariah. Get the fuck out of here. You know what I mean? Like, no way. No way. Iggy, yeah, Iggy Azalea. Oh my God. It's not, it's not about, and, and I want to be clear. It's not about, oh, she's... What's she doing now? Where's she at? Who, you know, who, you know, it's not about that. It's about her talent is just not on the level. Like, no. She's okay. What's her name? Carmine or, or, or Kazmin or what, what was her name? Who did like the Busta Rhymes? If we're talking white girl rappers, that girl was on fire. That girl was on fire. 
You know what I'm talking about? Years ago? What did they become? They had like a song, a hit song too. But they did the look at me now Busta Rhymes thing. That was like insane. That was insane. Iggy Azalea could never. <laughs> that's that's my petty uh, celeb. That's the extent of my petty celeb uh, commentary right now. That's all I got. The, I really like this planet because it really looks fucking alien. Like this looks like a totally different place. And it's also creepy as fuck because these are all like nests and shit. Or like the nests look just like them and they blend in. That wasn't all of them though. I missed like two. Okay, okay, four A's and an S is, I'm, I'm gonna consider that a yay. Yeah, that was good. I still didn't get a Vespin Seed though. That's what I need to evolve the one dragon really bad. Uh, you feel like people will really hear feminine voice rapping and just see them as one and the same? Yeah. Yeah. No, no, it really is that stereotyping or like we don't really we don't really see individual people shit. Um, and it's like, no, 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 there's no comparison to Megan Thee Stallion and Iggy Azalea. No, no, no. That's like, that's like comparing fucking Chris Brown to Busta Rhymes. I know they've been in, in songs together, and I know Chris Brown is technically more r and I mean, I guess he's more R&B, so that's not a good comparison. Okay, fine. Comparing fucking Skilo to Busta Rhymes. Comparing, uh, fucking Drake to q-tip you know what i mean like like not only are they different styles but let's be real regardless of different styles the talent is not there <laughs> like not it's not it's 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 entire universe's different levels of talent you know i have a huge thing for hip-hop but just music in general really um, I feel like I need to give some dragon that shit, but I guess I don't until I buy more dragons. Silvertail Ra Radiance is looking cool. I wish you could kind of color them, but I also like the idea that each of these dragons is their own individual design completely on their own, and the only way that you customize them is by stats, which have already preset sort of levels. They're not blank canvases. They're, that's the thing. They're not blank canvases. They, they are specific dragons like this is silver t Sil silver tail radiance and you will respect that <laughs> i think that's cool you one time saw a top 200 worst rappers and in between a bunch of obvious joke rappers i'm pretty sure they put in like every single female rapper ever on that list i don't think that's fair and i'm not saying that iggy doesn't have an audience or anything like that she definitely has an audience it's not about the numbers necessarily i just feel like at the core of everything, Eminem or Iggy Azalea or Macklemore or any white rapper at the end of the day, they, they do have the respect of having like the skill and talent. Many do, but like, I wouldn't say like, <sighs> it's not some kind of, coincidental joke that Eminem is like the top selling rapper like of course of course it took a white rapper for white people to give a fuck and start paying people you know what I mean like it's just I don't know it's a it's a whole nother story <laughs> I could go into a rant uh holding the line I just like there is a level of like delegitimacy that I feel with white rappers just by virtue of how 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 hard that appropriation rides you know what i mean but at the same time i love hip hop in general uh you know you know who was really fucking good who died way too fucking early is mac miller um d 
Do I want to re... Well, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me see here. Yeah. Yeah, wingman all day. Defense in mind. Onasaur is a really good name. Yeah, I mean, I mean, like, I wouldn't... Yeah, I mean, that just sounds like a misogynistic sort of worst rappers shit, you know? But I would not put Iggy Azalea anywhere near Megan. Or Left Eye, or Missy, or Lauren, or, uh, you know, the list goes on. Not even close. Not even close. Yeah. Yeah, right. Like, I may not be the biggest Cardi B fan, but she can rap. You know what I mean? She has a particular style. It's not necessarily this, you know, comparable to certain rappers. I mean, you, you kind of have to find, like, you know, people that are in the same kind of rap game. So to be like, Busta Rhymes is better than Drake is kind of unfair. But what I'm saying is, the skill in rapping, the skill in rhyming, the skill in wordsmithing, there's no contest. You know what I mean? Like, Drake is Drake is not there compared to Busta to, You know what I mean? Like, never. Like, no way. But they're also in different styles of, of hip-hop, for sure. For sure. Yeah, the tiny desk? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. She really, like, no, no, no. There's no comparison to Iggy. No, 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 no. <laughs> like, like, when I saw that on Twitter, I'm like, I usually don't pay attention to celeb bullshit, but I was like, these people are out here trying to compare Iggy and Megan? Get the fuck out of here. No. What did I say earlier? That's like comparing Hillary Duff to Mariah. You know what I mean? No, no, no. No, no, no. Hillary Duff had that one song. Mariah is a fucking diva. Mariah is a fucking icon. And I'm not even that into her. But you know what I mean? And at the same time, we can allow space for both to have their success and have their, their shine and have their glory, you know? But I think in, in conversations about comparison, you do have to give certain people, <laughs> like, like if there's a versus, it's like, no, 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 you know? Like, I don't, I don't know. That is, at the end of the day, is some Twitter discourse, though. And I should know better. <laughs> Those are hard to kill in one go. Oh, this big boy. This level is fucking beautiful. It only vibrates when you're making contact with your bullets, and I think that's, like, fucking fantastic. Because then you know that you're actually doing damage. Like, talk about an accessibility feature. You could play this game without looking at it if you got to know, kind of like, if you figured out and worked out patterns based on when it vibrates, that's pretty cool. Oh, we're going to sell some of these skills after all. I think after a while, once you find so many skills and pick up so many, all this loot from all these levels and all these ranks and stuff, you just have this like ginormous amount of backup, like ampules and stuff for your characters. So this game really is about the long grind and raising all these dragons and then taking them online or, or just mastering the uh, getting S ranks and everything on all the levels, you know? It's pretty cool. Like, there's a lot of game here. There's a lot more game here than I thought initially. Panzer Dragoon, if you don't, re re you know, remember, is only a game, like, a couple hours long. Because you go through it, like, it's one big story. And in this game, it's like, you get to choose from all these different levels and go back and master each level and get good grades, you know? It really is way better. Like it's a it's a huge upgrade from the previous games. <clears throat> let's go, let's go, let's go. Take no damage though. In that level. 
I got that. I got zero damage in that first part. We got Panzer Breaker Smolder and a bunch of other shit that we're going to sell. Yeah, this game is is too cool. I don't I don't know what I don't know. I just kind of had like a hair up my ass or I guess a dragon scale up my ass and I was like <laughs> I was like I need to play this. I need to get into this. I need to give this a shot. Uh and I'm really glad I saw it on sale cuz 3 bucks, I mean, shit, you know. I think it's only like a $20 game anyway. All right, what are we feeding feeding our dragon? Four lock-ons for massive damage. We're going to give that to um, Golden Mohawk. And then we're going to use Go uh, Golden Mohawk. Yeah, this is cool as hell. I love that you get to feed your, your pets. Like, that's super fucking sweet. Like, your dragons are, like, you know, it's more than just, like, you're choosing... It's more than just you're going from stage 1 to stage 7 while shooting as a dragon, like, in the old games. It's, like, you actually have a relationship to some extent. Look how cute. Okay, so we're gonna hire a new wingman, because I think the other one ran out. I could be wrong. Oh yeah, Mad Dog has played this. Mad Dog has actually like played this. And he has like nightmare like like dark element, which I haven't even seen that element yet. What the hell? I was gonna see if the shop has something. Nope, not yet. So yeah. Oh, seeing the dragons eat? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. You know what? Let me let me actually... Now that you say that, give me a second. Because in our inventory, there's food items. And I guess, yeah, I guess that's like you just feed them for as upgrades. There's no like healing them. Like I guess when you go into every level, you're like full health at the beginning. Which is nice. And then, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, no, that would have been nice. It would have been nice for an extra level of that. But I guess what I'm saying is, going from purely a shooter that's level to level, like an old school game, to this entire whole system of upgrading them and evolving them, and like, you know, min-maxing them and stuff, it's like, really cool. It's like, it's like, way cooler than I thought it was gonna be, you know? So, I'm just gonna look around at all these. We still we have no medals on this. Every Vespin, every Garnoth, ninety percent. Let's go, let's go. Um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, totally. I'm just like I'm just kind of like blown away that I didn't play this ten years ago when it came out. That's the thing, like, a lot of games, a lot of the best games, and a lot of just interesting games in general don't get a ton of marketing. So it's about the fans, you know? Okay, so this one is an, like a free fire. Oh, they're both free fires, okay. Yeah, my wingman dragon, look at that shit. That dragon looks in in incredible. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of Pokemon-ish, just in the menus. This would make a perfect game for Switch, because to have this, like, portably, you know? And it, like, looks super good. Yeah, that's right. Morty fucking up. But I got an S. Hey, that's cool. 47 out of 47. When enemies come at 
you from behind. Order your wingman to watch your back. Yeah. Let's do our giant Take weapon. SNS. It's a powerful weapon in a pinch, but you can only use it a few times. Use it wisely. Right, so the last time I did that, I had a way low level dragon and I didn't have the right weapon. And now I just fucking aced it. Good work. You're a fast learner, rookie. Yeah, I think the Switch is really good for stuff like that. The Switch is good for like arcadey experiences that you can pick up and go really quick. And that's what I, I, I'm saying, like, this game really nails the the formula of Panzer Dragoon because, you know, like I said, those games you have to commit for, like, 45 minutes to an hour for each level. And if you die, you start all the way over. And this game, it's like, you can just hop in and play for 10 minutes or for three hours, you know? I like games that have both of those things. Yeah, I'm trying to level this one way up because it's it's low. Meta progression and shortest mission. Yeah, right, right. But you're always making progress. Exactly, exactly. You're always, even if you're getting a grade lower than what you got before, you're always getting experience and items. So it's like, you know, everything you do is a win, basically. Um, we're going to feed this dragon experience feed. Level five. I do like the roar mechanic, though. That's cool. <laughs> the roar animation. This one's fire. And I think we're going to learn that one, too. Yeah. Oh, that one's that one's extremely yeah tons of damage let's do that let's do that okay b b b b a all a's a's and s's a's and s's i how do i not have an a an s on this oh collect all the fucking beacons god damn it the beacons are tough and I, I'm not sure if it matters what dragon you have. Like, if they have, like... I guess, well, yeah, because their agility is how much sort of movement they have. An so, beneath. I bet that affects, like, your, de your, your dodge time and your actual, like, moving time. So, it's best to choose one with the most agility for this first mission. Yeah, Stowing Breeze. Wow, they look crazy good. Uh, yeah, let's just do the first the first mission again because I want to try to get an S on that actually. Uh, we do not really need an ampule because we don't have to take no damage. Thankfully, Mad Dog. All right, we're good. Oh no, wait, wait, wait. wait. Select skill. Oh, this one only has Cannon Breeze. And they're wind, so we're gonna feed the dragon. And they need to learn. Oh, Ray Smolder's what the other one needs to learn. A uh, Bullet Breeze. And Roar Breeze. Okay, so... Yeah, let's just do the first one, because I want to get all these, all these medals and be done with this area.
It is a, a good amount of menu porn, but not too much, you know? Okay. Oh, I didn't choose my skill, but uh, whatever, I have these two. Copy. Do you copy? Okay, we just have to get all the beacons. We don't even have to kill all the enemies. We just have to get all the beacons. And then I have this one for when I need to free fire. Do a barrel roll. Yep, yep, yep. That's a wonderful way to put it, Feline. Please get some good rest. Thanks for hanging. Uh, I will see you... I, I took a break on Fight Night. Like, I always... If I'm not going to do Fight Night, if you look on the schedule on the channel page, it'll say, like, you know, canceled or whatever. Um, because there's, like... Like, I don't always put it everywhere on social media. Sometimes I do. But, you know, it's hard to keep up with all of it. But, yeah, we'll do another Fight Night soon. Next Tuesday should be fine. Uh, I definitely want to do Smash, because it's time for Smash. Uh, and then... Uh, what do you call it? Marvel 3 or 2. And then... What else? What else? Uh, Guilty Gear. Maybe Accent Core again. That was fun as hell. Okay, I just have to get all the beacons. I don't even have to be good at this. was so freaky though right it like turns into lava and crumbles only to be rebuilt again thank you on that shit. Yeah, coming back here with this leveled up dragon is like a piece of cake. But getting... That's the thing that I also like about this game is that even though you can come back to an old level with a high level dragon and totally whip ass in terms of like the boss, if the level has things to collect, like these beacons, that's still like... It doesn't matter how good your stats are, you still have to do that. You still have to be good at flying. You know what I mean? It's kind of like a really cool way to always make sure there's challenge, no matter how, how high level you get in the game. I missed that fucking... Oh, man. I missed that one. And it's not going to give me another chance to do it. No. 
<laughs> oh no. This one is really tough to get all the beacons. I can't believe it. Alright, we're gonna blow this shit up. I got 47 and 58. That is so tough. That's This is the first level. The first level and the beacons are like brutal hard. That was an S. A sass. Yeah, all the beacons is very tough. Very tough. But I do have the top score in this, so I'm feeling good about that. And we did get stuff. And this dragon's brand new, so I mean, it's a win-win, really. It's never a bad thing to get experience and stuffs. All right, so feed it the XP. We also need to teach that other dragon. Mohawk, we need to teach this one. Uh, oh no, never mind. Right, we have more Roar Breeze. Here. So wait, can we evolve this anymore? No, okay, there's there's three levels. This one's beautiful, honestly. Um Right, 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 right. Okay. The Lost Colony is a really cool area. The Lava Lake we still gotta do. Sending the herd. Mad Dog. The bomb is pretty cool. But I think I'm going to stick with this for now. This looks intense. Raging Dragon.
Let's do our super. Fuck it. This would be like so scary. Oh yeah, this one's going down. No damage, all S's, let's go. That was like a perfect go. That was great. We should give that food to... I mean, yeah, we could use it for us, really. Nebula Cannon Smolder, that sounds great. This one already has kind of enough weapons. I think I want to give it to... Snowing Breeze, I guess? Nebula cannons. Well, I guess that's a fire one, so we should give it to Mohawk. Yeah. Um. Okay. 
Yeah, my shit is already kind of so good. That one does sound kind of interesting, though, but maybe it's just, like, not great. I still don't have the S on that. That's rough. That one's fine for now. That one's fine for now. The Lich Field? Oh my god. This thing looks insane. Okay, no Wingman. If we do no Wingman, we need to do... But the, see, that's the thing. Is Silver, Silver, Silver Tail has almost no defense. Seems a dragon's graveyard has been discovered in one of the tunnels. But the Mohawk Earth. Smolder. Yeah. I don't have one that's like fucking attack. That's what I really want. Take Onosaur with us, let's go. Yeah, I just kinda had a random itch up my ass to play this. <laughs> I said that, didn't I? I did. Uh tomorrow Zelda 2. I'm looking forward to it. I've been wanting to beat it for 30 years. Literally 30 years. Okay, we don't Oh no 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 wait 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 wait, sorry. We have to take away our wingman because I want to do it without a wingman first, and then, and then you know, and then we'll do what we need to do. A white phantom prototype. It's an easy metal. Yeah, but that does count as, like, you did a mission, even though you quit. So, like, your wingman has, like, a three-mission limit, and so that still counts as one. That's good, though. That keeps you from, like, kind of being too cheap. Oh, my God. This is going to be a huge boss. This one kind of auto aims, sort of. I knew I shouldn't have let you spend so much time with Cadmus. There's nothing down here but the passages. This level is cool as hell. menacing as fuck. Oh no. I'm so glad it does the flying for you. This does a good amount of damage, but it's really hard to get away from his snacks. But I do have a ton of defense, so I should be good. Shit.
I mean, that does seem to do, like, more steady damage. Shit, I need to, I need to dodge. Oh, fuck. This is what we have regenerators for. Shit. Okay, we got a regenerator. Let's go. Regenerator just gives you full health. And all you have to do is buy them. And you always have money for them. It's great. They don't make it like a shitty thing. Where, like, you have to, like... You know... I don't know. Do some shitty casino shit to, like, keep your life going. Okay, we're not done yet. It's gonna turn into, like, a snake. Actually, I think the rapid gun is better. I do. Whoa. Shit. To use another one. Ah, oh, it's hard to pay attention to both. Hold on, hold on. This does do a good ch chunk of damage. Shit, it's so hard to avoid that. Almost got it. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Yeah, it's better to use this, really. You don't have to match up your shots. Oh shit, the jaw came off? Oh, this thing is not done. Megas on that G. This 
This is like so intense. This is gonna get this dragon so many experience points, I'm so ready. This is a pretty low level dragon still. And only in evolution one, but I'm just like, let's take let's take on this shit. We have the right weapons. We have the right partner. Well, we're not doing a partner right now, but yeah, I still have three minutes. We're totally gonna get this, yeah. May take a few tries, but her generators are cheap. Still better. My God, it's not over yet. Okay, I'm doing a lot of damage. That's good. I just don't understand why. Like, How the damage threshold for this one is weaker than the last one, for sure. Finally dead. Yeah. GG, right? That boss battle was insane. That was that was long too. That was like really involved. And we got all the medals. Amazing. Finally got a Vespin Seed. Okay, so we should level up that first dragon because they're like Old Faithful, you know, like the very first dragon, the fire one. But. This one I'm going to keep in mind. So, Bloodskin Smolder, it's time to level up, for sure. Yes. Bloodskin... Blaze. Whoa. This one looks like super sunburnt. <laughs> Okay.
cute. All right, so uh, let's see here. Right back at level one. Ray Smolder. Let's give him a shot, shall we? Yeah, like, they're not that much better, but they... I don't know. Let me look at our... Let's look at our dragons really quick. Come on. Yeah, like, like Golden Mohawk has crazy good defense. Very, very good defense. And Sil Sil Silvertail Radiance has... Excellent agility in mind, and really good attack in life, too. Because they're like level, or they're like, they're like evolution three. Monster Hunter vibes? Yeah. Yeah, just on rails. But you still have to fly and avoid stuff, and like, yeah. Also, this has multiplayer, but I'm not sure... Because I was like, if we could play this offline together... I think it's only online. That is my guess. There's no way it's low. It should be local. Yeah, yeah, it's only online. They could have, like, two cursors, you know? Like, I wouldn't mind that at all. But, um... I mean, this is this has been great. I got like maybe another mission in me or something, and then I'll find someone to raid. Uh, unless something crazy happens, let's go choose a mission. Final mission? Oh, are y'all trying to beat this right now? Are we trying to beat this? Let's let's do it. Let's beat this, and then yeah, there's like obviously way more to do. We can actually like see the credit rolls. I'm, g I'm down. Are y'all ready? Okay, so wait a second. We have two, seven, eleven, fifteen, nineteen. 22, 25, 26 missions altogether. Okay. Okay, this is definitely the right dragon to take into this, too. Are we going to do this without a wingman? Are we going to do this take damage, take no damage shit? Because eventually we're going to have to do this again. Um, if we do no wing room. Let's try it. Let's try no wing room. Let's be, let's be adventurous. Accelerate has the most attack, but it's not necessarily the right thing. I think we should do the ray bomb. Let's give it a shot. And the ampule should be like... I wish you could see what your stats are here... Already? Defense and life, really. That makes the most sense. Because this dragon has like almost none. All right, final boss. I'm, I'm, I guarantee you, there's more to this game though. Like, like as far as like, I have to get S's and everything, but I'm, I'm pretty sure there's gonna be like unlockables and secrets and stuff. This is it. Because all the other dragoon games do that basically. This thing looks like pretty terrifying.
Okay. Try to dodge you shit. With any attribute. Switch to an opposing attribute to give yourself an edge. Okay, we have nine it, it gives us basically ten minutes to do this. But I'm doing a lot of damage. Holy shit. It does so much damage though. And this dragon really doesn't have, like, the defense that I need. I'm probably going to have to use that other one. And the battle will just take longer. But I'm going to give it a, a good try. Try not to be sloppy. If I had like two more regenerators, I'd probably be fine. Oh my god, these giant things. <laughs> I hate these. I hate these. Right, it's like not with that defense. R okay, so so I have way more chances really because it's only four thousand credits. I thought it was ten thousand, so that's fine. Yeah, let's do it. If it means I can stay in the game, hell, hell yeah. Those, those orbs look so cool and hurt so bad. Too early. I'm glad they forgive damage right at first. Like, right when you come back. Like, respawn. That's good. I can't believe we don't get to see like the front of it. I wonder how many pieces to this there are, or is it just this, you know? I'm here for it though, I'm focused, let's go. It's probably gonna go into a new phase or some shit. We have probably like what seven more tries eight more tries in terms of how much credits we have which is really good like I feel like I played this unintentionally smart by saving up credits and not buying everything that I don't need because now I can use them as continues oh that was too early that was too early
yeah, like there's no, you, you have to brute force your way through this. If you didn't, I think, I think honestly, it would be better if I had more defense, but this dragon does the most damage right now. And so to me, it's worth it. Like if, if the damage went down way slower than that, then I would probably say, no, I need to go grind more. But this is totally doable with what I have, you know? So I'm kind of like, let me just do it. Oh my god, almost there. Oh my god, is it done? Oh no, that's okay, that's part one. That's part one. And there's three parts. We're gonna get so fucked. Oh my god. Five minutes to do this one. It's still better to do this, I think, because it goes down steadily. Yeah, without a wingman, this is tough, for sure. But I wanted to at least do it this first time. Ew, we're like peeling the skin off of it. With our laser weapons. It was just like an air slice. Okay, this is avoidable. I do it right. Okay, but I can I can get it. I have time. I think I'm gonna put this VOD up on YouTube. Because I haven't listened to any actual licensed music on this stream, and also we're doing a full playthrough of this game, basically. I mean, I did the first level, so much of the middle of it, and final boss. All right, last phase. I'm trying to do YouTube stuff every now and then, or kind of archive things. It's nice to have that, you know. We have a lot on the 3VG channel too. There was a lot of streams on there. This is so epic. You did it. We got this thing. Whoa. Don't get ahead of yourself. Look at this fucking this horror shit. Just getting started. I'm gonna try. Oh my god, this is gonna take forever. Have to do something 
think about the cube. If we can't cut off the energy feed to the white phantom, our attacks mean nothing. Oh, you have to get pretty close to it to do more damage. It makes walls in front of you? That seems a lot. That seems very extra. Okay, okay, okay. I think I understand, kind of. We're gonna go back out and come back in so we get a new perspective. is like confusing Right, you can't hit those either. 
I think I can get through this, but it's gonna be tough. All for that metal. I might as well get the tough one out of the way now, though. Since I'm already in the groove of playing, you know. I'm trying. Oh my god, this is tough. Fall back. It's about to charge. Okay, there's only two more things that are like regenerating it or whatever. Three minutes left. I just gotta kill this bottom like fucking cube that's keeping him alive and then I can go in and just like destroy. Still got this. We got plenty more chances. Maybe five, six more. That is so scary. Another pass, real quick. Oh my god. Oh my god, I did it with like 20 seconds to spare. Oh. Hurry up. Oh 
Whoa. What just happened? What just happened? Yeah, that was definitely a B. It took a long time, but I wanted to get that without a wingman bonus in there. That was good. Yeah. Plus, it's like you can just do that boss anytime you want and then get a ton of XP and try it out with different combinations and, and dragons and whatever. Beacon freeze. Yeah, that was great. All right, all right. I put a good four and a half hours in. Um, I like this game a lot. I'm glad we got to, like, end of classic mode. That's pretty sick. Here we go. Cutscene time. Lies and corruption. Lies Our entire corruption. world was founded on them. We were never alone, never cut off. Earth observed us from Look a distance. Look at this art, though. When the gate opened and the ruins That's of New York? ancient civilization, disconnected images and thoughts spilled forth, flowing through my mind. Draco Alpha One complete. Tests unsuccessful. Commence reset. When they first arrived on Draco, the government discovered technology that allowed them to reset the planet. Population regenerated spontaneously. Discover the key to immortality. Crimson scale infection may present. When the effects of crimson scale were discovered, wow. the fate of Draco's colonists was sealed. Multiple gates around the planet. An incredible opportunity. World transition from the multiverse. How many times have they treated us like rats in their own private laboratory? How many times did we die for their greed? Perfect carrier. Commence dispersion in target areas. Viral patterns still too unstable. Reset in eight, seven, six, five. By now, the secrets of the planet have been revealed, but all too late. This is the end for us, for everything. It is also our beginning. I'm recording this in the hopes it will somehow survive. Draco Delta 731, our designation, our world is at an end. But if these words live on, if you are reading them so... now, Extra bonus open. missions after this? The key to That's my understanding. Found in Amara. We're going to see here. Go over here real quick. Y'all, this is another game beaten, but Seek not completed. But beaten. Credits rolling. Here on stream. Uh, I have a whole Google Doc right there if you want to check out all the other games. This is game 177. This is the first game... I have beaten on Xbox One. That is a specifically Xbox One game. No, it's not. Lucas did Doom Eternal. We did Shredder's Revenge and Phantom Dust. So, okay. It's the fourth game. <laughs> it is the fourth game. Uh, I like this game a lot. This game is super cool. Uh, I think this is definitely one of the better shooter on rail games I think I've ever played. Better in many ways than the existing Panzer Dragoon games. Different, you know. Better than a lot of light gun games that I've seen. Um, it'd be cool if you could do it with a light gun, but I mean, it really works for what it does, and all the weapons are cool, and the bosses are insane. Insane, and level design is amazing. Um, yeah, I'm gonna type this in here. Boom. 177 games on 27 platforms beaten on stream since January of 2018. 
Uh, I do think it's time for a raid, but I do want to see what happens at the end of this. Um, real quick. Let me see here. Yeah, it should be done. Uh, I made a command called exclamation point mask, y'all. I know a lot of people are getting sick right now, and it really fucking sucks. And a big part of how we can make that better is by wearing masks. There's also some really awesome nose spray out there that you can get that prevents... Like, it kills, basically, disease in your nose before it actually reaches to your lungs. Um, I wouldn't say use only nose spray, but nose spray and a mask, honestly, like, if you're in public, you're probably not going to get sick if you do that. Um, I hope everybody's having a decent holiday season and just, like, trying to stay healthy. Health is really, truly the most important thing. Um, I have learned too many times myself and vicariously, like, what happens, you know, if you become disabled, if you're unable to fully really take care of your health, like, things get so much harder, you know, especially if you live in America, and especially if you live in a country that doesn't have, you know, the infrastructure for healthcare. So be safe out there, y'all. Um, I had a really good time tonight. This game is awesome. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to be doing the Zelda 2 remake. I will actually give you a link here. But please do not post it on social media. Just just enjoy it yourself. Just just enjoy it. Um, right here. This is Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link on NES, but completely remade on PC in Game Maker and actually uses code from the original Zelda 2. Just expanded. There's a map now. There's fast travel. There's many more indications of what spell you're using and how everything works. There's uh, uh, faster, faster cutscenes, faster dialogue. It's like completely modernized. If it's as if Zelda 2 was to be released now by Nintendo, just with the classic graphics, but like cleaned up and looking really, really, really good, you know. Uh, but it has a huge list of improvements. So tomorrow night, uh, actually tomorrow night, and for the next several Fridays, uh, our friend Foxy Jewels right over here uh, is playing Illusion of Gaia on Super Nintendo and I'm joining them uh, every Friday from let me think from 5 to 8 Eastern I believe uh, 5 to 8 Eastern I want to say let me think about that for a second no they're on Central so from 6 to 9 Eastern on Twitch at the Foxy Jewels channel I will be on stream, hanging out while they play Illusion of Gaia, aka Illusion of Time, one of the best action RPGs ever on Super Nintendo. Um, and then after that, I will be playing Zelda 2 Remake, uh, at least for a while. I may need some food and stuff in between that, but it should be good. Um, yeah, after that, I think I'm going to play Thirsty Suitors, uh, which is on Xbox, and after that, who knows? We'll see. Fight night on Tuesday. I will definitely periodically take breaks from fight night, but sometimes you got to do self-care. And I think self-care is like, I don't know, more of a priority to me now than possibly ever. Self-care and health care, like, it really means a lot. So take care of yours, y'all. What is happening? What? This is stupid. You can't really believe this, can you? I'm telling you, kid, I salvaged this thing myself. It's no joke. Wait, so if we go back what to the ruins? Government conspiracies and a laboratory planet? Come on, Cadmus. Even There's you like boar? Should I do one more level before we raid? Find out. Journal Should I go see right what's going on with this? The center of all this is at the ruins. We ought to get what let's ruin? let's go see. We there gotta see at least a little bit. I will play this you again, well but it was nice to actually like just beat it, you know. Oh my god. They just ain't been discovered yet is all. Come on, we ought to at least go see for ourselves. You with me? I'm not, kid. Or is this just like ending cutscene?
Okay, let's let's see here. Hold on. I love these games so much. The Dragon games are really excellent. I can't speak well enough about them. Like they're just awesome. Uh yeah, Mad Dog is too good not to hire. And we have enough we had enough credits to do everything we wanted to do. It was pretty cool. Uh let me feed this dragon. Nope, nothing. Okay, in the Lost Colony. It's not one of the ranks. I think what they mean is like, maybe you have to get all S's on Lost Colony to unlock like a secret area. I really like the Lava Lake more than I thought I would. That Litchfield boss was super fucking intense. Even more so than the last boss. That was super intense. Like, it's all up in your face. The last boss kind of, like, felt maybe a little bit more reserved than I thought it would have been. But not, like, bad. And I definitely could have done better. Yeah, maybe if you get S's on everything, that's the thing. I'll have to look at the documentation of this game. I'm not sure exactly. But I really like this game a lot. They did a great job with it. If you like dragons, or for that matter, on-rail shooters, or shoot-em-ups, or bullet hells, or just good games, or Star Fox, anything like that, you should definitely play this game. It is only on Xbox, but it plays on one and on series as well. Uh, let's go raid Kyo Shiorha, uh, fantastic drag king and performer in StreamCon 6, which was just two months ago. They had a giant drag queen and king and thing stream convention. It was amazing. They had like 48 hours of panels. There were like 60 panels. There was uh, a section for all sorts of folks for all kinds of drags. They even had their own indie game award. A lot of performances, a lot of laughs, and a lot of music. Um, I am a huge fan of drag, believe it or not. Uh, I'm not necessarily into reality shows, but I do have major respect for the art and craft of drag. I spent a lot of time in drag bars. I spent a lot of time supporting drag kings, queens, and things. I spent time having them in my own spaces when I was doing events. Um, and I feel like either the dive bar or the online space is where I like drag the most. So let's go visit uh, Kiyoshi Hora. <laughs> uh, I think they're playing... Yes, Do Not Starve. Do Not Starve, Don't Starve. Which I haven't played in years. And the last time I played it, I died like crazy bad. Um, thank you all for being here. Thank you so much. Please go check out Crimson Dragon. It's like 15 bucks. Have a wonderful night. I'll see you tomorrow for Zelda 2 and on Foxy Jules' channel. Peace out. Good night. Much love. Remember, Pride is 24-7, 365.